All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, this is a Christian Prince with you, and I hope today we'll have a very good time together, Christians, Muslims, Hindus, whoever is listening. Uh, we love the Muslims, we care for them, and we do our best to help them. Today we will show you a video made by the, uh, the uh, person, his name is Insane or Insan, I'm not sure. And he is very smart and educated uh, uh, Ustad from Indonesia. And you know, I wonder how many Muslims will leave Islam because of those people. So I really appreciate those people. And don't take me wrong. I mean it. I really mean it. Let us hear what this gentleman is saying so we can learn how Islam function and try not to laugh. Dear viewers, in the seventh episode, the title is Equation for Christian Brains. That is me. <clears throat> now, I wonder why, if you have a question for a Christian Prince, all those questions, why you don't call a Christian Prince? So, you know, all the Muslims will see how much knowledgeable you are. How much smart you are. I mean, you have those questions for me. Like, are you, are you going like, a, are you like a drop of a faucet every day? You will give me one drop. Can you please call me? You see, there's one of two reasons you don't call. Either you are terrified or because you are terrified. So which one of them? Give me your Skype because you are an older man and I respect your age. And I will call you. Don't call me. All right? And I promise I will speak to you nicely. But I want people to see how much you know about even your own religion. And it's funny that you want to teach the Christians about their book, but you do not know your book. I mean, what do you know about Islam? Nothing. If I ask you a question which is in the size of a match, you know, you will be in trouble when it's come to Islam. But let us see how he explained to us our belief. He's an expert. What do you want to say to us? The question to Christian friends. I hope you will not make it hard on me. As you know, I'm very weak. And it's month of Ramadan. I only sleep 16 hours. And I wake up to eat and I sleep again. Very tough for month. This is why in the month of Ramadan, all Muslims get fat. <laughs> and the price of food go crazy. Because you're fasting, brother. Are you fasting, brother? Ah, I can't tell you I'm fasting. You look like fasting, you gain weight. Hmm. Tell us more. Christian Prince, if Jesus is God, can he do anything according to his own free will? Christian Prince will surely answer, yes, because he is God. Ah, yes. I like what you do like the yes things. Say it again. I really like it. What was the question? Can he do anything according to his own free will? Christian Prince will surely answer yes, because he is God. Oh, hold on. I, no, no, no. This is not satisfying. I want to hear it one more time. Okay. Yes. In the seventh episode, the title is Equation for Christian Prince. Christian Prince, mm. if Jesus is God, mm. can he do anything according to his own free will? Mm. Christian Prince will surely answer yes, because he yes. is God. Uh -huh. Mr. B. And if his answer is no, it means Jesus is not God. Okay, I will stop here. I want the Muslim to be my witnesses. He agree. This is his statement, not my statement. Yeah, be my witness. If Jesus do not do things of his own will, that means he's not God. Who is the one who said that? The genius Ustad Insane or Insan. Listen carefully again. Can he do anything according to his own free will? Hmm. Christian Prince will surely answer yes, because he is God. Hmm. And if 
his answer is no, it means Jesus is not God. Stop. Stop. If we ask Mr. Insane the same question, do Allah he do things according to his free will? If the answer says yes, no, no, yes, that's mean he's God. If the answer is no, it's mean he is not God. I mean, you cannot practice that on me, but you don't practice it on you. That will not be fair. If we go and see how Allah, he sent seven Quran. Allah, he sent his angel to Muhammad saying to him, your God command you to recite the Quran in one, one Quran. This is Sahih. This is not, uh, don't tell me this is Aif, you know, this is garbage. Allah has commanded you to recite your people the Quran in one dialect. Okay. What is the command of Allah? To recite the Quran in one dialect. Hmm. Is that the will of Allah? Mr. Insane will say, yes, it's the command of Allah. Yes. Okay. How come the command of Allah is not working? Look what happened. Allah has commanded to recite to your people the Quran in one dialect. Upon this, he said, who said who? Muhammad. I ask Allah burden of forgiveness. My people are not capable of doing it. <laughs> so here we need to question the stupidity of the author of the Quran. And I'm going to use your logic and apply your logic at your prophet. Your God Allah commanding Muhammad to recite one Quran. Muhammad saying to Allah, your will is a stupid. This is the will of Allah. I command you. I mean, it's so clear. I command you to recite the Quran in one dialect. What Muhammad said to him, hey, 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 hello, <laughs> Allah, <laughs> what's wrong with you? <laughs> Mr. Bean, don't you see that my people are not capable of doing it? Then he, he who? Allah. Sorry, uh, 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 this is Jibreel. He came uh, for the second time and said, Allah has commanded you that you should recite the Quran to your people in two dialect. This is the will of Allah. This is what? Is that the will of Allah or the will of, uh, you know? Okay. Muhammad, he said to him, oh, 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 hold on, hold on, Mr. Will Allah. What's wrong with you? Upon this, the Holy Prophet, they made him holy. A guy who slept with the children and kill and torture and steal, and he was accused of stealing underwear. They call him holy. Look between two brackets, holy. If he's very holy, again said, "I seek burden and forgiveness from Allah. My people would not be able to do it." <laughs> I mean, the will of Allah is broken like a glass in the floor. Allah now he do not know what to do. He sent first time Jibril told Muhammad, "Okay, do it once." Muhammad he said, "No." No, it's not, it's not working. It doesn't work. Jibreel, he go to back to Allah. He says, Allah, look like this guy is reading. He make, it makes sense. Your command, your will is stupid. You better do as the will of Muhammad because this is now the will of Muhammad, not the will of Allah. The will of Muhammad that my people are not capable of doing it. So then Allah, he sent Jibreel again a second time. And then Muhammad, he said the same. Read carefully. He, Jibreel, came for the third time and he said, Allah has commanded you to recite the Quran to your people in three dialect. <laughs> they thought Muhammad will be happy and he will like the will of Allah because this is his will, Muhammad will. But Muhammad, he did not say number three. Allah is not listening. So upon this, I ask burden and Allah forgiveness. My people would not be able to do it. Then he came to him for the fourth time and he said, Allah has commanded to recite the Quran to your people in seven dialect. <laughs> <laughs> as long you are a person who speak about the will of God what kind of God he is negotiating and he is not sure what is the right number for the Quran to be sent down and then a human being in the size of Muhammad who is created by Allah is correcting Allah so when you say the will of God, proving that God is God, that's mean your God is not God. Because as you see, the Quran, seven Quran was not the will of Allah. And by the way, the hadith here is not correct because it says that the, the, the angel, he came many, many times until he agreed about seven times. Huh? What is this?
how Allah he don't know what is the perfect number to send the Quran now going back to what he say to continue his uh, drama we prove that Allah have no will oh hold on you I just remember something oh sorry for you, you I, I forgot man sorry I'm getting old I'm 17 now uh, if we go in the Quran uh, in the hadith sorry we will find this story Let us find it. <clears throat> the will of Allah. I like the will of Allah. What's wrong with this website? Okay. <sighs> Where is the hadith? Hold on, hold on. Allah, he sent the angel of death to take the soul of Moses. To do what? To take the soul of Moses. So what is the will of Allah? The Muslim believe that if Allah, the all, all uh, like your life, your lifespan is by the command of Allah. And Muhammad, he said that clearly in the Quran and in the Hadith. In the Hadith, Muhammad, that when Allah, he created the child, he created him first as a drop of a sperm. And then the drop of a sperm became a congealed dead blood, as you see, which is very stupid. And then the clot will became a flesh, a little lump of flesh. And then Allah wishes to complete his creation. Then the angel asks, Oh Lord, it will be male or female? <laughs> Words or blessed? How much of his provision and how, what, his age will be so what we care for here is this part forget about the, the, the rest of the stupid part and as you see this is Sahih Bukhari Muslim cannot deny it and the Quran even says that the same so before Allah he create you he decide your age your lifespan so this is the will of Allah he made it already is there's a decision okay then we find that Muhammad telling us a story that Allah, he sent the angel of death. Abu Huraira reported that the angel of death was sent to Moses. Hmm? The angel of what? Of death was sent to Moses. And the angel of death, he informed Moses, told him that your Lord sent me to take your life. Hmm? To take what? Your life but we just showed you I mean why he's asking him I will take your life I mean the Allah he decided already his life should be expired right away what is this angel of death is about so Moses when he came he Moses boxed him and his eye was knocked out his what his eye brother was knocked out the eye of who the eye of the angel I'm not going to uh, make fun of the stupid story that an angel and Moses they were fighting and Moses he played karate and then he kicked him in the eye and he boxed him and then his eye came out Forget about it. But Allah, He decide your age when you are created. So how come Moses can do his will against the will of Allah? Then, look what happened. The angel, he went back to Allah. 
And what the angel said to Allah? You send me to a servant who don't want to die. So what is the servant? Don't want to die. But you Muslim, you say he is the one. Allah, he decide your age. Allah, he decide. Look, this guy, Allah, he decide already his age. When he created him, according to you Muslims, Musa's age is decided. So how a Musa, he is a human being, he can go against the will of Allah and he can box his angel. And now Allah is negotiating with Musa's. Okay, Musa's, how long you want to live? <laughs> and he's very cute. And by the way, uh, for me, uh, this is why uh, somebody asked me why you joined the army. And why you, you jump from the parachute and whatever, like you do things. I mean, and you learn karaoke, and I play karaoke, by the way. And the other day I was playing karaoke, I hit my eye, you know, uh, because I was like, uh, you know, practice in front of the mirror. So, brother, I practice karaoke, so if the angel of death of Allah, he come to me, I will box him, box him. And the angel of death, he will go to Allah and say, Christian Prince, you don't want to die. <laughs> You sent me to a servant, you don't want to die. <laughs> what? Why well, you did that to me? Like what? And then Allah He restored his eye. And this is making me upset. Stop. Please stop. Allah He restored the angel eye. <laughs> Unbelievable. So the angel what is this time with one eye? I'm so happy that Musa did not box the second eye and the both of them, they are gone. How he will go back to Allah? He will not see his way. <laughs> I love it when a Muslim speak about logic. Like how Jesus can be God if he is doing the will of his father. Yeah? I mean, look at you. We will be back. We will be back. We will be back to the stories of Muhammad and we will die laughing. Uh <clears throat> Yeah, Prophet Al Khadr, he don't die too. Yeah, actually, Prophet Al Khadr, he don't die because he drank from the fountain of youth. <laughs> By the way, I have some water here from it. If you want, I made I made the chocolate drink from it. I'm drinking the fountain of youth now. Hmm. Look at me. Look at me. Every time I take a, a a slip of this fountain of youth, I get back younger. I'm afraid to continue drinking. That will make me an infant at the end of the day. I, I better stop because already I'm, I'm now 14. Let us go and see what this guy want to say. <clears throat> uh, uh, okay, Gaidun, uh, Gaidun, he said something very important. Let me show you. I like I like smart questions, and I really I like you guys to uh, to join us in the conversation and to think with me. Uh, not only me thinking I like I like people who think with me and even the one who will beat me even in the, my thinking that will be interesting Look what our friend here guy doing he said uh, Arabian prophet can this story be interrupted as Theology that can be change your destiny. Thank you very much for this question That here destroy all of us now why because when we showed you the hadith about Allah saying that Allah, he wrote, how you will be bad or good, you will be fine or uh, or, or wicked, uh, You how long you will live, that is a destiny. Muslims, they believe in Al-Qadr. It's a predestined religion. So how I can change my destiny? That's mean Allah will, and the destiny he decides for us is a shish kebab. Is hummus, and that will lead me actually, as long as you mention this, to other verse in the Quran. We go in the yellow pages of Muhammad. You know, by the way, I searched in uh, 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 in any, any splash for this before, and it stuck with donkey. I don't know why. It's it's making uh, you know a donkey. Ah, uh, hey, look, look. It's like I mean, it's my browser is stuck with the. Look at this. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Perfect for the topic. Okay. So, if we go in the Quran, we will find this. Where? In the Quran. Uh, 
I hit my browser when it switch to English. Or when I want to type Arabic, it type English. When I want to type English, it type Arabic. Why Allah, he created a mankind? Allah, he created mankind for one purpose. Chapter 51, verse number 56, it says, وَمَا خَلَقْتَ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسِ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I created the genie and the human for one purpose, to worship me, not to serve me, to worship me. This is false translation. Okay. This is the destiny of Allah. And Islam does not believe in a free will. So how come Allah, his will is not functioning? Allah created a Christian prince, according to this verse, to serve and to worship Allah. How come a Christian prince is not serving and not worshipping Allah? That is impossible. For if Allah is God, he should have a free will and he is the one who decides what will be. And if we go to the different verse in the Quran, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, we will find the following. You see, we have to connect the dot. Uh, <clears throat> Let us see. In chapter of the iron, chapter 57, we find a lot of rust in the chapter of iron. No misfortune, nothing bad, nothing bad happened to you, anything happened to you. On earth, or in your soul, but it's recorded in a degree before we bring it into existence. That is a truly the easy of Allah, truly easy for Allah. All right, hold on. You guys, just give me the second uh, comment after we, you know, finish this one, and so I can read your your chat. I don't want you to uh, to see I'm ignoring your uh, text. So let us connect the dots here. We showed you the other verse where it says Allah he created a human and genie just to worship. This is the decree of Allah. Correct? Okay. In chapter of the iron, we find a rusty verse saying, Nothing bad can happen to you or to your soul, but it is recorded as a decree before we bring it into existence. That's mean Allah is the one who made the Christian prince go live on air and insult Allah, insult Muhammad, laugh at him. And Allah, he is the one who made me do it. Question. Why this guy is making a video for me to convert me to Islam if this is Allah will? Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? If this is Allah will, this is the will of Allah. He is the one who decreed every bad things. Okay, is a Christian prince something bad for Muslim? They say yes. Okay. Who is the one who did it, who made it happen? Allah. Just to show you how the stupidity of Islam function. And remember, the topic is the will of God. If you remember the story, <clears throat> uh, Abdul Hafiz, he said, we have a Muslim friend here, he said, let us show you his, his text. Thank you, Abdul Hafiz, for saying that. It's mean that Allah knew what you were going to do, so wrote that not 
his will. My friend, that is against what Islam teach. Obviously, you do not know. Here we go. This is the hadith. Your prophet is speaking about the creation of you when you were a baby. What do you know? He write for you your destiny. The prophet said, at, the, at, at every womb, Allah appoint an angel who says, Oh Lord, the drop of semen. Oh Lord, a clot. Oh Lord, the little lump of flesh. Then Allah wishes to complete his creation. And then ask, the angel ask, Oh Lord, will it be a male or female? Who is the one who decides, even your gender? Allah. This is not about Allah knowing. Who watch or watch or blessed? He will be a wicked person or a blessed person. Allah, he either he curse you <laughs> or he bless you. So you will be wicked or blessed. How much his provision will be? So this is not about his knowledge. And just to show you that you have no, no idea what you are talking about. Uh, Fairuz, Sheikh. Okay, uh, Fairuz, my friend. I am mute callers when they don't, when they deny. Uh, when a Muslim, he started giving me his own propaganda and lies, and he don't show me reference, I will, give, I will tell you bye-bye. As simple as that. I have debate with sheikhs. We never hang up on them. We never let them go. But kids, Muslim kids, they say whatever they want. He stopped giving me his own explanation. Either you speak about Islam, like this guy now. He gave me his answer, but this is not from Islam. He, can he provide me a reference saying that Islam does not believe in destiny, predestiny? He cannot. Let me show you. So if this guy, he called me and he argue, I will go on to mute him because he is not speaking in Islamic base. He is making his own statement. This is not Islam. You want to debate me? Debate me about Islam. Look what your prophet said. When a child he was, or he died, and Muhammad and Aisha, they went to attend the funeral. Aisha, she said, there is a happiness for this child. Okay, why there is a happiness? Why is Aisha saying that? Because he did not do any sin. He will be a bird in the, in the birds of a paradise. Read carefully with me. It's easy to have a big mouth, but it's easy for Christian prince to shut it up. Allah Messenger, they went to a funeral of a child who died. She said, Allah Messenger, there's a happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise, for he commit no sin. What, what, what happened? He commit no sin. And nor has reached the age when one can commit sin. Right, Allah is the name of God. Don't insult. This is your God. When you you insult me too, you make fun of Jesus. How come you insult? I, I love this. For me, Allah is Shaitan, and I can prove it easy. You know what kind of God He allow you to have sex with the children? He's Shaitan. What kind of God He allow you to beat your wife? He's Shaitan. What kind of God He says to you, go and uh, uh, and, and, and like uh, attack your neighbors and take their money and their and their and their uh, and their wallet and torture the neighbor and, and uh, uh, until he tell you where he hide his money. What kind of God he says to you, attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls? He's shaitan. So this is your God, but he's shaitan for me. So here, listen carefully. Don't change my topic, otherwise I will block you, Pharaohs. Either you focus with me in the topic or take care. If you are a brave, really, answer what I am saying. You keep changing the topic because obviously you are a kid. And then when I mute you, you will say, why well, you muted me? You're a kid. Look what we are talking about. Look what you are talking about. Focus with me, Abdul. Stop drinking camel urine at least for two hours. So, Aisha, she is assuming that this child who never reached the age of sin, he will go to heaven. And that makes sense. What Muhammad, he said to her, Aisha, Aisha, stupid Aisha, per adventure. Aisha, she, he, you know, per adventure. Are you stupid or what? It may be the otherwise. It may be what? The otherwise. What do you mean otherwise? It might be go to hell. But this child, he did not commit sin. Why he will go to hell? Because Allah created for paradise those who f are fit for it while they were in, yet in their father backbone, not lions. And he created for hell those who are to go to hell. And he created them to hell for hell 
while they were yet in their father backbone so the gentleman or the muslim who says to me oh this is about allah knew the future you are an ignorant my friend allah decide where every one of us will go before you are made the hadith i'm using is weak this is sahih sahih this is sahih muslim i can show it from sahih bukhari faroos get lost say hi to daddy get out of here this is this week i mean it's like someone he ate too much in ramadan and now he have a diarrhea and now he is going to dump his diarrhea in our chat get out this hadith is weak this is sahih muslim you don't can i can show it to you from sahih bukhari this hadith is weak don't get married trust me your wife she will cheat on you second day because you go to the bedroom, you cannot do it. So your wife, she will say to you, you are uh, weak. You know? And you will say, no, this is authentic. It's uh, it's working. Trust me. Just give me five minutes more. She wait for five minutes. Nothing happened. Okay. It's weak. And then, no, no, no. This is sahih. This is sahih. She come the second day. Still, it's not working. Anything they don't like, anything Christian Prince, he used to get them busted. They say, this is weak. This is weak. Quran is weak too. I can show it to you from the Quran. All right. No, no, this is not. This is not about Allah knew in advance. Stop being li li liar. You say what? No, in advance. It says here, it created for paradise those who are fit for it. Created for paradise. What this is about knowledge? This is not about knowledge. He created for paradise who fit. He created. And Faruz, you wanna call me? Peruz, you want to call me? Are you sure, brother? Uh, Abdul, Abdullah Al Hasha Kabur. You have good knowledge of Islam and destroying them. You okay? Love from India. Okay, my friend. Where is the guy who said Abdul Hafiz? Okay, Abdul Hafiz, I will open Skype just for you. Uh, text me, Abdul Hafiz. <clears throat> Even though we are going to answer this uh, <coughs> this Abdul in the video, but doesn't hurt. Text me Abdul Hafiz. I'm going to log in Skype right now and I will call you. <clears throat> okay, Abdul Hafiz, I am now in Skype. Give me a text, my friend. Just take me a text first to be sure this is you. <laughs> We have Fairuz Sheikh. Is that you? Is that you, Fairuz Sheikh? The Fairuz Sheikh is texting me. Let us see what Fairuz Sheikh wanna say. Fairuz, answer. Hello? <clears throat> Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend. What do you want to say to us, Mr. Ferris? Hello? I hear you. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Yeah. Well, why, why, did, why did you mute, mute my call that day? Can you speak louder? I don't hear you. Your voice is very bad. Uh, you, you disconnected my call that day. Okay. What do you want to say to us? I disconnected your call. Yeah. Because you are a genius. Because I... What, what happened last because time? Remind, was... remind me last time. What happened to disconnect your code? No. What happened is that I was exposing your life. That's why you disconnected my call. Aren't you the one who called me last time? I showed you the reference and I got you busted. And it's, it's, it's posted in YouTube already a few days ago. You are the same person. Okay, go ahead. Let us see what you can do. Go ahead. 
No, I, I'm, I'm just telling you the truth. Okay, I okay, just, just tell me. Time. Okay, my friend, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. I want you to get me busted. Go ahead. First, you tell me why did yeah, why you disconnected my call that day? Aren't you the one who told me you want to go and drink water, and then we waited for for you five minutes, look looking for the reference, and we heard you, and we were laughing at you, and it's recorded. You are a fraud. You told me you want to drink water, and we showed you the reference, and you could not answer me. And you said, "Okay, hold on, I want to drink water." And then we waited for you, and everybody can hear you. You idiot! You you muted me. You muted me, but you did not mute yourself. So we were hearing you asking your friend to search for the reference, and you could not find it. So you came back after ten minutes, and you have no reference. So now don't waste my time, Abdul. What do you want to say? Go ahead. Yeah. Um. See, first of all, I want to tell you that. Uh, Whatever Hadith you are using, you have to uh, use the authentic one, right? Okay, the one is in front of me Hello. is authentic. The one in front of me is authentic. As you see, this is Sahih Muslim. So why a child who did not commit sin, he will go to hell? So this this thing, see, uh, uh, Allah knows what you will uh, do in the future, right? This is another question. This is another question. It says. That Aisha, she said, this child, he did not commit sin. He did not even reach the age of sin. And he's a Muslim child. So why it might be he will go to hell? He died. He did not commit sin. He's an infant. So why he will go to hell? Why Muhammad is saying it is possible that he might go to hell? It might be the otherwise. Don't you read? So why it might be the otherwise? What? How Allah, he sent people to hell? Your prophet said clearly, Allah, he created those who fit for hell when they are in the backbone of your their father so it doesn't matter if you commit sin or not allah decide where you will go read the hadith go ahead see um allah is a true god right so he knew what the child will do in future. Get, what what he will do in the future the child he died abdul what's wrong with you the child already dead he will do in the future are you a donkey the child is dead how he will do in the future? He is an infant. And you say to me, Allah, we know what he will do in the future. I mean, are you drinking? Are, are you drinking camera urine? Are you taking hashish? He is an infant. He is a baby. He did not reach the age of sin. So what do you mean by saying Allah? He knew what he would do in the future. What the future? <laughs> let, let's say that child. Let's say the child. What? Let's say the child is not tired. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I'm listening. Let's say the child, child. Let's say the child did not die, right? My friend, the child died. Don't say, don't let that say. What's wrong with you? That is saying the child did not die, but he died. We are talking about a specific person who died, and he is an infant. No. So why no, he will, why he might go to hell? Don't tell me. Let us say. This listen, listen. I, I, you see, I, 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 the Muslim they say he mute, he mute us. I mute kids. You are a bunch of idiots. The guy, he, he died. He is an infant. Don't tell me, let us say. What let us say? He died. And so now, he, he died and he did not commit sin. And Aisha and your prophet agree. The child, he did not reach the age of sin and neither commit any sin. Muhammad, he did not say, no, he commit sin. No. He said, no, very adventure. It might be the otherwise, which means he might go to hell. Why? Because, your prophet saying, because, not me. God created for paradise those who are fit for it while they are in their father backbone. And you said to me, let us say he did not die, but he died. So now why he might go to hell? Explain to me. Are you done? Uh, yeah, I'm done. Are Wait, you done or okay? Waiting for the genius you. Yeah, now. now. Do you want to drink water? Now, now. Now let me speak. Okay, let, go let ahead. People see you will now mute me, right? No, I will not mute you, scared. but don't tell me, don't tell me this. Let us assume he did not die. Don't tell me that, that the child he died. So now, why a child who died and he let, is not, uh, he let, did not commit sin, he might go to hell. Go ahead. This is so uh, unfair debate. Like you, you always keep on shouting and you don't even let me speak, right? Hmm. Okay, my friend, I'm waiting for now you. Let me, go ahead. Let, let me, let me give you an example. Give me an example. Let's say. Uh, let's say the child did not die. My friend, don't and say he did not die, you stupid idiot. Don't say, let us say he did not what? die. The child, he died. I'm asking you about the child who died, not the one who did not die. There's many children did not die. No problem. But I'm not talking about them. The child who died, he did not what? commit sin. What is his fault to go to hell? The mic is yours. See, 
Because, because you keep point. saying, let us say he did and not just, die. This is not the topic. We are not talking about a child who did not die. We are talking about child who died. Now let me speak. You don't. But don't don't, don't uh, again don't again come back and say it. and don't come again and say. Let us say he did not die. He died. Don't say that. I want you to answer a child who died and he is an infant why he might go to hell the mic is yours everyone is saying that you are not even letting me speak because you know i will expose your uh, expose your uh, lie right now <laughs> if you let me speak <laughs> Well, what is the I answer? You, are, you keep saying to me, let us say he did not die. You are a, I, you, you are, you are a mad person. I, you keep you saying, let us say, let us say he did not I, die, I, but I, the I, child he died. Going to let me speak or not? I will let you speak, but don't tell me, let us say he did not die. The child he died. This is what we are talking about. A so child first, who is an infant I, who did I, not commit I, sin, I, I, he I died. Only need, I only need 60 seconds to prove my point. What? You will not let me prove my point. Yeah, I no, no, your dead. your point is not valid because you changed the topic. Now you are talking about a child who did not die. I'm, I'm so not, we are I'm not, not talking the about the that. We are talking relevant. about a child he died. So now a child he died and he is an infant. Why he might go to hell? The mic is yours. Do you understand the, what is hypothesis? What is what? Hypothesis. Hypothesis. No, I do not know. What is that? No, it's like it's like it's like uh, uh, like playing some scenario like what will what what if you know no what it's will happen explain or what to will me happen if they explain one, to me one what? thing or the other right what what so what I am going to play hmm. the hypothesis here see listen listen to me I'm listening listen uh, this child let's say he didn't die right <laughs> he grown up to be an adult <laughs> after he grown up. Sin, he could commit sin. Abdul, but he did not mind. grow up. He did not commit sin and he died. Do you Muslim believe that somebody is dead? He commits sin after death? Stop being a stupid. We are not talking about a child who did not die. You see, if I hang up on them, he will say, hang up on me. You know, he did not give me a chance to answer. You you people, you need the, you need the patient, you need the patient of God. You have a low IQ. Your stupidity is amazing. And this is assume that uh, the child did not die and he grew up and he commits sin. Abdul, he did not grow up and he did not commit sin. Even the Hadith says that and your prophet agree. Look, it says he reached, he had nor has reached the age when one can commit sin. So he did not commit sin. Are you done shouting? Get lost. Don't call me again. Let your dad talk to me. Only adult can talk to Christian Prince. Uh, what a kid, stupid idiot. Don't me. I go to Christian Prince. We call a Christian Prince and he hang up on us. And we do not know why. We are very smart people. And we are genius. And each time we speak to him, we give him perfect answer. And today is an example. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> we have abdul hafiz okay abdul hafiz let's maybe abdul hafiz is smarter <laughs> yes mr abdul hafiz turn off your camera please turn off your camera abdul hafiz and mute your youtube okay what do you want to say to us i, I uh, sorry you could see my video yeah sorry it's all right Yes, my question was that uh, I've heard many of your uh, speeches. I'm very, uh, uh, they're very nice. But the question is that about destiny, we have heard from our scholars that, uh, uh, you know, destiny means like God knew what you were going to do in the future. So that is what he written down. Okay, my friend, I'm listening to you. I thank you for what you say. But do you see the hadith in front of you? Does it sound like this is about Allah he knew or this is about Allah decision? before you are even created where you will go as you see here the child did not commit sin why he might go to hell your mind because I, our scholars they say this is because allah he can do anything i mean if, if he wills okay no so, problem so okay we, my, my friend okay no problem but don't you muslim you call allah al-adil which means the just 
yes. Okay. Isn't it the Quran uh, speak that you pay for your sin? Uh, yes. Okay. So now why the child who did not commit sin, he will pay for no sin. He will go to hell. Explain to me. Go ahead. I understand this point and uh, this denies that uh, the adjust part that you know the name of uh, Allah one of the name is just I agree with that but the problem is about destiny uh, uh, does it uh, prove that you know uh, God uh, Allah does not know you know the future and he could not write it down as our destiny you know my, my friend, so, uh, you I see, don't call it, destiny, yeah, call it Qadr, no, you know? no this is not what we are talking about you see we are answering a video from Muhammad and from Indonesia about God have his free will right and God okay. when he say things he say things he do what he say correct so Allah he said yes. that you will pay for your sin okay no problem now why a child who did not commit sin he will go to hell uh, yes that, that that I agree that uh, I'll check this with my scholar that there is a problem with this I agree with you okay the problem on with this. The, okay hold on my friend you see I, I like talking to you you sound like an an, uh, an intellect person and we can have a conversation right. you you spoke yes, yours you spoke right. your scholars and they say there's a problem with this is that the problem with Muhammad or the problem with Allah uh, yes I'm going to talk to them about this hadith and ask them that if no 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 uh, you, you, already, you already spoke to them and you said to me, to me they agree that there is a problem okay the problem here it is the problem with Allah, Allah is not being smart, or the problem with Muhammad not being smart, which one is not smart for you? The problem is destiny, because I have to check that... Uh, okay, my, uh, my friend, I see you are avoiding, avoiding my question. I'm sure you are smart enough to understand what I'm trying to say to you. You say there's a problem same. here. There's a problem, all right? Okay, the problem here is in the statement that a child, he might go to hell even though he did not commit sin that's wonderful now that's the, wrong. the problem is in the teaching of muhammad or in the teaching of allah uh, i think both, there could be a problem in both okay so now we have a problem with the teaching of allah and this is a muslim calling me agreeing that the teaching of allah obviously is messed up this one when we mean there is a problem here it's messed up yeah. So how yes, Allah can I, how I Allah can be missed up? And I think that true, but I'm just talking about the destiny part. You know, that is something uh, I I haven't uh, fully you know grasped, and I'm not fully uh, in on it. But yes, I'm going to ask my scholar about this also. Okay, let me ask you, uh, 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 Fairuz, right? Your name is Fairuz. No, no, Abdullah, Abdullah. Abdullah, sorry, I, I, we missed that. The, the one before you, his name is Fairuz. All right, uh, uh, Abdullah. <laughs> When Adam he commits sin, did he commit sin by his free will or Allah forced him to commit sin? But, uh, you know, Allah knew what he was going to do. No, this so not, he wrote down. This, no, this is the question. You see, please, you know, I, I respect you that you are a smart person. So I want a smart <clears throat> answer. Listen carefully to my question before you open your mouth, please. Okay. Did Adam choose to commit sin or Allah made him commit sin, force him to commit sin? What do you say? Well, uh, even if Allah knew that Adam was going to do sin, he could have stopped it. This is another question. Again, you see, yes, I, I trust your intelligence, and please respect yeah, I, respect my you know. I, you see, I have I have limited patience. You know, I am a human being. I'm not I'm not uh, you know. So if I hang up on you, they will say, "Hey, hang up on me." Why I need to repeat the question one thousand one thousand times for a Muslim? So my friend, again, did Allah did Allah force Adam to commit sin when he was in heaven and he ate from the tree? Or Adam, he did commit sin by his choice. I think Allah forced him because if Allah wanted to, he could have stopped him. Why did he write in his destiny then? Okay, hold on. Guys, Allah, he forced him. And you are right. The hadith says yes. that there is a debate between Adam and Musa about uh, committing I've heard sin. Of that. You have seen that video of yours. Yeah, so... Good that you are watching my my videos, Sony. You will leave Islam. My friend, hold on, but hold on, hold on. Let me, let me make my comment. My comment, please. So when uh, 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 when Moses and Adam they have a debate, and uh, uh, Moses he lost the debate because Adam argument is, you cannot blame me for a sin I did because of Allah. He forced me to do a sin. Must I must I commit? 
He ordained for me before he created me. Actually, in different hadith, it says he ordained for me 40 years before he created me. Okay. Okay. So now, if Adam been forced to commit sin, and he did sin because Allah forced him, why Allah? Yes, I think why Allah, Allah is unjust because uh, see because of his name Adil. He's not Adil because uh, I've heard your videos also some other where you where you explain because you know uh, if Allah was Adil, uh, our scholars would not say that it's Allah who if he wants to he can throw all of you in heaven. He can throw all of you in hell if he wants to. So I think you are right about that. Okay, so now you're agreeing that Allah is not just. Yes, I agree. Wonderful. That's mean Allah cannot be God. Because God should be just. Uh, I am unjust. You are unjust. We, you know, I, if you make me a judge, for sure many people will end in jail just because my knowledge is limited and my brain is limited too. And there is no way I can be just unless I'm God. So when God, we prove that he is unjust, that means we prove that he is not God. Uh, yes, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this. Yes. Okay. So now Allah, he cannot be God and yet he is uh, unjust then how we can accept him to be our God if he is you know there's a simple principle God he should have logical logically and then this logic this logic disappear he is not just and why he kicked Adam from from heaven if he is the one who forced him to commit sin I mean this is stupid I'm Actually, the only problem is the just thing. If he was, if this name was not there, like just and Adil, the, it wouldn't be a problem. That is the problem which is actually making me think. Well, yeah, but but here, my friend, the the, the uh, uh, not because his name is Adil only. I mean, uh, the Quran claim that every soul pay for its sin. Correct. Every soul. Okay. So now we discover that every soul have no sin. It was the sin of Allah. So the one who should pay for the sin is Allah. Hmm. You know what I mean? Because you know, if you are in the army, if you are in the army, and I am, uh, let us say you are the captain, I am a soldier for you, and you say to me, shoot this guy. In the war time, if you, if I say no, I will be killed. So I, I have to obey you because you are the boss, and then I shot the guy according to the court. I will not go to jail. The captain who ordered me, he will go to jail if this is a crime, correct? Correct. Okay. Allah, he ordered Adam to commit sin. So why Adam, he go to jail when the fact it's Allah. Allah is the criminal. He is the one should go to hell. But maybe Allah did this, forced Adam and do all these things so that, you know, he can judge and test people on earth. My friend, hold on. Okay, but well, you just you just made it even more worse. Let me tell you why. Because if Allah want to test people, shouldn't he test them? I mean, what kind of test you fail me to fail? What kind of test? You give me a test, the test mean, uh, give me a chance to pass. But this test, nobody can, you know, so you just denied for me to fail and then you call it test? That is not test. Okay, actually, you have given me a lot of time. Thank you for that. Because mostly, when I try to call my scholars, they don't even uh, uh, pick up my phone. So I will try calling one of my scholar. Right. But I'm quite con con uh, convinced by you, and I'm really surprised that you talk to normal people like me and you hear our, you know. Well, my, friend, my friend, my friend, hold on, hold on, hold on. What do you mean, normal people like me? I respect you. You are my brother Christ. He love you. The Lord Himself. He love you, and He don't love me more than you. What do you? What are you talking about? I am no one, my friend. I am no one. I'm, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy even to touch the feet of my Lord. So I am no one. And yes, I am here for you and for anyone like you. And I'm not better than you, my friend. But let me tell you before you go. Before you go. Many of I'm happy, but this thing uh, is only problem with the destiny. But I'm going to do some more research with my scholar on this, just a little more. Okay, before and, before uh, you go, uh, be, before before you, before you go, Abdullah, listen. Now, as long as we agree that this is all cannot be true from God, and mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you, even if you ask scholars what they will say, it says clearly. I mean, this is their prophet. Can they can they say something against what the prophet said? If the prophet he got it wrong, can the can the scholars get it right? There's no way. 
I mean, the hadith is very simple, no, right? To me, the scholars say to me that don't ask so many questions. You know, it's not good to ask questions. Yeah, well, they are saying to you what is written in the Quran in chapter five, verse one hundred one: ask no questions. All right. This is this is this yes. is the only answer they have because simply Islam is a stupid cult, and the only way to stop you from understanding Islam to say to you, chapter five, verse one hundred one, uh, 101 says, ask not questions because those questions will make you leave Islam. So what we do in order to avoid troubling questions, for Allah cannot handle the truth, we say, ask not. Oh, you believe, ask not questions because things which is made plain for to you may cause you trouble. Okay, and this is one of them. So the second you start the question Islam, you leave Islam. Sorry, you leave Islam? You leave Islam because the verse after it says bad, by the way, the verse after the verse number one to read it. Some people before you ask the same questions and they left Islam, they lost their faith. Do you see it? The same Quran saying that. The Quran saying, if you ask questions, Muhammad had no answers. Muhammad is just a thief. He tried to establish religion. This is why in the beginning he started fasting like the Jews. Then he fast like the Christian, and then he fast the Sabian, and then he took Ramadan from the Sabian, and he fast Ashura, then he throw Ashura, and then he wanna pray, but he don't know how to pray, and he start watching the Jew, so he start watch praying like the Jew, and then he he saw the Sabian, so he decided to do ablution like the, the Sabian, and then he mix all those together, and he come with a new religion, including Allah, which is a pagan god, mix them together, and he is a prophet of Islam. That is Islam. Do you, do you remember? Do you, so, do you so, remember the hadith? Do you remember the hadith? I, I'm sure as long as you are watching my videos. Yes, when, I'm watching. When when uh, when uh, Muhammad was praying uh, in a funeral, as long as you are talking about a funeral, when he was praying in a funeral, and a Jewish guy he walked by, and the Jewish guy he said to Muhammad, "This is how we do it." Okay, what's wrong with that? So the message of Allah recovery, the message of Allah used to stand up for the funeral until the crops was placed in the grave. A learned Jew, which means a rabbi, he passed by and he said to him, this is how we do it. The prophet, he said, sit down, sit down, act differently. Okay, hold on. I am a prophet of God. I was praying according to Allah teaching or according to my fantasy. Because if Allah taught me how to, how to pray, I will not change it because just a Jew, he told me this is how we do it. Imagine, imagine Christ is teaching us. And then Christ, a Jew, a rabbi, he said to him, this is how we do it. And then Christ says to the Christian, the disciple, sit down, sit down, act differently. Obviously, this guy is a fraud. He got busted. The Jew, by saying that, Muhammad, he knew that they, they, they got him busted. He is doing what the Jews do. So now he decides, okay, oh, oh, they got me busted. Act differently. In a second, in a, in a moment, he did not even wait for tomorrow until the angel come to him and say, find a solution. In the same second, he changed the way to pray. So who, who is the one who taught him to pray then? Nobody. Obviously, he's fabricating his own prayer, how you pray. And he is copying the Jews. When the Jew, he said to him, this is how we do it. Muhammad, he said, oh, oh, I got busted. Let me change it. Who gave you the authority to change it? And if this is a prayer from Allah and the Jews pray that way, aren't you Muslim? You claim that the Jews you, they used to follow Musa's too. So why you want to change it? Because Muhammad is a fraud. Hello. Yes, if you can mute YouTube, please. So my friend, what, ab what, what about you before you leave? What about you denounce Islam and you accept that Islam is no, a false religion? One thing that about destiny, and this I agree with other things. I just want to understand uh, destiny. Do you? So you are saying that uh, God, uh, uh, you know, forced everything to do things. So destiny does not mean that He knew what was coming, and that is what He wrote down. You're saying that, right? No, yeah, it, because you see, knowledge of God is not destiny. That is not destiny. That is a power of God. Yes. Destiny is I make you do things, which means pre pre a pre plan for you, and you just do the plan. Even the word you say, it is my words. Even the act, like if we go as an example, just to to, to explain it more. When somebody commits sin, like adultery, do he choose to commit yes. adultery, or it was an order from Allah? The logic is I choose to commit adultery. Correct. Uh, yes, yes, and I knew that. So he wrote. Okay, down. so how, so how Allah, how Muhammad he say that Allah told him, Allah 
has fixed the very portion of adultery which a man will indulge in and which if necessity must commit necessity yeah, must I, commit so so, so means how, that okay but will do some this but, hand, but some my friend this tongue, okay but my, know, but my friend okay so we stone a woman for adultery but it's Allah who made the women do adultery is that fair <clears throat> Does it say that exactly? I mean, yes, it mean, says that. Read carefully, uh, my friend. Read carefully. Can you read it for me in the screen? <coughs> Allah has fixed the very portion of adultery which man will indulge in, and which he of necessity must commit. Must commit. Right. Uh, so okay. So now a woman or a man, uh, for sure, the woman she will not do adultery that, again that, alone. We, she will we, do it with the with man. The man. That huh? means that we might see women, so it means that that is a fixed part, and not everybody is safe, you know. Like you also might have watched some women, maybe while we were walking out on the street. So that is fixed, isn't it? No, no, no. You see, no, no, no. This is fixed. This is a predestiny. Allah has a fixed very portion of adultery which a man will indulge. Will, will? Would you see? Will it says will? Which a man will indulge? In will. Which he okay. Will so this is something it. you will do in the future. Who is the one who fixed it already for you? Allah. It's fixed. Yeah, so, it fixed. So it, he fixed. It means that, uh, of course, it means that uh, you are going to do it. Right. But, so, uh, so it's not my choice. It's not. You will do it, right? So, yeah. So he's it, fixed some part. Right. So it's not only you will do it. It's about the amount you will do. It says the very portion. Correct. So Allah yeah. he decides for you how many women you will sleep with, how many women you will look at, how many time you will you will do it. He decided before you do it, and now you must commit. Now, so why Muhammad, he says, if a man commit adultery, whip him. If a woman, she is married, commit adultery, stone her. I mean, where is justice? If you are the one who decide for her before you created her, how many men she would sleep with? How you stone her for a crime she did not do? The one should be whipped is Allah because he is the one who made her do it. Yes, I, I, I've seen most of your videos and I, I, I agree with you most of the things. Uh, almost you are right about it yes uh, there's some things like this destiny i still have lost my scholar but most of the things i agree all right so but you will not leave islam by now yet you will not announce islam is false for you yes i, I think i, I I'm, I'm actually already planning to do because uh, after watching some of your videos i'm just doing a little more research <laughs> into this but I, I i have i think 99 percent uh you're right all right, so 99.9% percent. So, my friend, the one percent is stopping you. Let me help you to get rid of it. What is the one percent stopping you to leave Islam? To say I am out. Percent uh, is some people. Uh, I'm just trying to see uh, uh, because you know, you know, out of hundred uh, percent, maybe the things that you talk about in the videos and it. Uh, I haven't read your books anyway, but I I think that is only a short percentage, isn't it? Like five percent maybe. What about the ninety-five percent good? Okay, my I friend, mean, let, I, let, let us go with you. Let us, let us go with you. If you want to kill somebody, how many drop of poison you need to put in a big dish? One. So, if we have a whole dish and we discover that there is poison in the dish, the dish all is spoiled. We are talking about God, my friend. It's not about maybe. Okay, he's a human being. He is right in something. Sure. That's why I want to be sure. That's why I want to be sure that maybe there is something. We are already. We are already sure. We are already sure. You know, mistakes in science, mistakes in history. This God, he cannot even quote the name correctly. The father of Mary, his name is Omran. Who is Omran? How yeah, in the world? That is a strong case. That is a strong case. Yeah. What about what about the father of Musa? Is Omran too? <laughs> this is stupid and then Mary is a sister of Aaron that is stupid and then Azar is the father of Abraham who is Az Azar <laughs> you know and 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 then uh, uh, I'm just going to uh, ask just a few more questions from my scholar and next time I'll call you and maybe I can confirm some answers from you and then I'll decide the other one percent well, uh, if it's hundred percent well I don't know for me I, I don't see a reason for you not to leave Islam right now and and, and this is why I'm giving you more time to say to me what is the one person give it to me so I can either make it clear for you or you can just do your own search what is the one percent give me the one percent which may, which holding you from staying as a Muslim what is the one percent no there is nothing holding me from that I'm just uh, 
you know, uh, just want to see that there's so many things that you've talked about, which are, of course, they are, I've seen they're logical and they are true, but that's a small percent, you know, like the religion is big. So, so maybe that small percent, maybe there's some, some point, some but, mistake. But my, but my friend, hold on, hold be. on. You see, the religion, the religion is big, but the base of the religion now is destroyed already. You see, uh, when we build a house, mm -hmm. we start from where? We don't start from the roof. We start from the basement, correct? Okay, when you say to me that destiny is the basement of our religion, this religion is gone because simply I commit sin is not my sin. I kill this guy, Allah, he made me kill this guy. I commit adultery, Allah made me commit. And then he will punish me for what he made me do. That's not only not fair, this is stupid. And then, and then you say to the Muslims, and then remember how many, how many times, uh, uh, Abdullah, how many times you heard the Muslim saying, "Well, if Jesus he died for your sin, is it fair that he died for the sin he did not commit?" How many times we heard that saying? Okay, so as long you are against somebody to be killed for a sin he did not commit, will all of you Muslims believe that you are going to be punished for a sin you did not commit because this is all his destiny? You are going to be punished for adultery, but it's destiny. You are going to be punished for not killing Christians and Jews, and this is destiny. And so, so what? So why I'm going to be punished? Adam was kicked out of heaven when Allah He says to him and to Shaitan, "Get down, all of you, from it." Why? Because uh, uh, Shaitan He whispered to Adam, but her, but this is the destiny of Allah. Allah He made Shaitan do that. Actually, the Quran says it clearly. Let me show you. Shaitan, he explain, he says to Allah the following, showing you the madness of the one who wrote the Quran. I hope you speak Arabic. It says here, "Qala fabima aghwaytani." Aghwaytani, okay, aghwaytani is what? Aghwaytani mean you tempted me and you seduced me to do bad. Look at the first translation the Muslims they have. They say, because you have thrown me out of the way. The fact, it doesn't say that. If we change the translation, look at this. This is Yusuf Ali. I will use different Islamic translation. Let us see if we can discover the truth. Because you have sent me astray. This is the Muslim translation. Okay, I will take it, no problem. But this is not a true too, because awaitani is more ugly, filthy word. It's like... Okay, a waitani is like a, a woman. She is a prostitute. She is tempting you to sleep with her. That's what a waitani mean. So the ver the verse is saying that Iblis Shaitan he said to Allah, "You are the one who sent me astray." Did Allah say no? No. Yeah, who is the one who sent? Because you have sent me astray. Okay, so uh, uh, you know, <laughs> Allah is the one who sent Shaitan astray. So Shaitan is a good guy. You have sent me astray. I will sit and wait against them because you have sent hmm. Yeah, so yes, Shait I'm reading it. Shaitan is a victim, is a victim of the biggest Shaitan, Allah. Allah, He made Shaitan miss, uh, go astray. And now Shaitan, He said, Because you did that to me, I'm going to do that to them too, okay? <laughs> So Allah, as long as you believe in destiny, Allah He is denied to Shaitan to be Shaitan, and now Shaitan is serving the plan of Allah. So now Shaitan He is misleaded by Allah, and Allah He did that because He wants Shaitan to mislead us. So all of us, including Shaitan, is the victims of Allah. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, I think that one percent is also uh, yes demolished now. So yeah, I agree with you. Thank you. Okay, so do you did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? <laughs> yes, yes, I'm. I'm, I'm into that. I'm, I'm into that. About it. Okay, I'm so happy for you that I you think. decide to leave Islam. That's this is obviously it's a garbage religion. It doesn't fit for a smart person like you. And now I want to say to you, what is holding you from accepting Christ as your Lord as your Savior? Actually, I'm still doing research because, see, I have done some research on Islam. Uh, I was a born Muslim, but, you know, I, I always like doing research. And that led me to your channel. And I watched your videos and I've seen some very good things about it and uh, the way you've exposed things. But uh, accepting that, uh, uh, well, there's nothing, but I'm just doing some research. 
Okay, uh, here we go. I am, you see, I'm willing to, I will change the topic about this guy. We can make a video about him next time. No problem. I mean, nothing necessarily. How I can help you? Here we go. Christian because Prince is in your, in your service. How I can help you to understand Christianity? I understand. Uh, no, I understand there is God. So, so we all believe. You believe in God. I believe in God. So mm. isn't that enough if you believe in God? And, you know, because all the prophets came down to make us believe in God. So we believe in God. No. So we'll go to heaven. Finish. Okay, let me explain to you. You see? We believe in God, we believe in God, but, but who is God? We need to identify God first before we say we believe in God. And prophets, they can be false prophets. Which prophet are we talking about? So we have to find who is God before we can say we believe in God. Now God, you see, we, me and you, we were talking about just, right? We were talking about uh, 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 like things God he have. As an example, Jesus never commits sin. They never did wrong. He never... Yes, I like. Yet he is a human. I mean, as a human body, flesh, we can be tempted. We can be tempted by money, by authority, by women. Women can be tempted by a man, etc. Yet the Messiah, he is not only never commits sin, he is more than perfect. And we challenge anyone to say that the Messiah, he was wrong in something. Read his book, read his words. Amazing, so beautiful. His miracle prove his yes, power. I like, yes, I like about the miracles because I like the thing about him is that with Jesus is that he's done a lot of miracles like no one and you know he's always been you know so kind and so loving. And when Jesus says love your enemy, what do you think about that? Isn't it this is amazing? Yes, yes, that is very nice. That's the opposite of Islam. No, no, no. This is not just very nice. I want you to 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 go deep behind the words. You see. If we practice one sentence of the teaching of Jesus, love your enemy. Don't you think that there's nobody will stay hungry in this world? Why? How much money we spend for Department of Defense every country? Maybe, I don't know, maybe you are from India, I'm not sure. So how much India spend for defense? Trillions. But India is a poor country, yet they have to spend a lot of money for security. So if everyone, if everyone of us love his enemy, we will live in heaven, in earth. You see this earth will turn into heaven if we just love our enemy. So Jesus Christ, not only he taught, there's many, there's many people they say, love your neighbor, there's Buddha, there's etc. Okay, but your neighbor, okay, my cousin or my family, no problem. But love your enemy is exceeding a human teaching. It is noble more yeah, than no, what noble even, is about. Even the Indian Krishnan said that. I'm also studying him. He said about love, you know, and he actually said love is the most powerful uh, thing, you know, in this world. You know about Krishna, the, the, the god of uh, Hindus. I mean, he yeah. also said similar things. But no, he didn't, no, nobody said love your enemy, right? I mean, love, they're talking about love, but in the same time, uh, uh, other religions... So Jesus never fought? He never fought any jihad or anything? Jesus never, you see, God, when we say God, Jesus, no, never, never did. But we, when we say God, uh, is God going to kill? Well, he, yes, he do everything. How is that? When I die, uh, God, he took my soul. Okay, but he, but this is not killing because simply, you can say like he caused my death. You can say he killed me. But in fact, he is the one who gave me life too. So he took back what he gave me. You know what I mean? I don't, I, don't own, I don't own my life. It's like, you know, I borrow a car and then you, I say to you, why you took my car? But I, you, you borrow it from me. It's not yours. I okay, took, so how to accept it? How to accept what? This is Jesus. How to accept Jesus? Simply, it's very simple. First, we understand that Christ is the only salvation and there's no salvation. No, Nobody will go to heaven except by believing in Christ the Messiah and by believing in him and not by anything else you are going to be saved and if you believe in him truly you have to do his teaching this is why he said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will which mean the will of Jesus too and what is the will of Jesus you follow his step you follow his command so a true Christian is the one who will go to heaven and true Christian is the one who do the will of Christ not the one who say Lord Lord like Shahada like the Muslims they do we don't believe in such a madness Shahada 
God do not need shahada. God do not, do not need somebody, you know, uh, to say to him uh, uh, a hypocrisy statement. Because if you are not following him and you say shahada, you are not saved. So in order to, to, to be saved, you have to believe in Jesus from your heart. Not only you announce that I'm a believer. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, carry on. Yeah. So saying a statement like Islam is rejected by Christianity. You have no, to say not, and to do. Forgive, I mean, whatever sins you do, God will always forgive you. Is that also true in Christianity? Like, you know, you see, whatever, whatever you do, God forgive you. Yes. But doesn't mean that you are going to for God. You see, God, is, you cannot fool God. Like if I say, okay, uh, every, uh, you know, uh, I do everything. And then before I die, two seconds, I say, God, God forgive me. That doesn't work with God. And, and the Bible is full of the stories. The, the Messiah, he taught us parables about being ready. As an example, there's a ready, there's a, the story about ladies who they are waiting with candles. And some of them, they have oil in their candle. You know, in old days, they, they light the candles with oil. And some didn't have oil. Oh, yeah, so, by mistake. So when the so when so when the Lord come, those who have candles will be seen. The candle who's lighting with light, they will be seen by the Lord. Those who don't have oil, they cannot light the candle. So what is the oil? Is you being truthful with the Lord in what you say and what you do? So if you want to be, no, if you want to be a prostitute, Islam, fall, even if you do let, sins from my God's friend, my friend, sky, from I, I, will, I will give you an example. And as innocent, you can, you'll be forgiven. No problem. Uh, I, will, I, will, I will give you an example. If you done shit. Yes, the Lord, he will forgive you. But the forgiveness is not about you thinking that, okay, you go and do Hajj or you make five prayer and that's mean that's it. And then you go back to do what you do. No, the Messiah, no. he forgave a woman, if you, if you read the Bible, who committed adultery and she was even working as a prostitute so he forgive her for a very simple reason to give her a chance to be saved but he said to her don't do that again don't do that again okay. so you are forgiven but don't do that again but if you die if you're in sins and you die Will you be forgiven? Let's say you are sin. Yes, my person. sin, my sin, my, my, my sin is already there. Nobody can take it away. So what the when, when when the Lord He says, "I forgive your sin," doesn't mean that your sin is gone. It's still there, but I'm not going to make you pay for it. That's all. It's like okay. It's like you commit a guilt. You know, you you did something. Okay, let's say you killed a man. Can can we fix that? No, you killed him already. So now, okay, you ask uh, God for forgiveness. Uh, forgive me, God. So let us get God, God forgive you, but still you kill the man. The man is dead already. So what 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 the, what the Lord he says when they ask the Messiah how to pray? He says pray like this: Our Father out of heaven, and then he say right away, forgive to us, the same as we forgive to others. What does that mean? In order in Christianity to receive forgiveness of God. You have to forgive. So the basic teaching of Christianity to be a Christian is to learn how to forgive and to be loving. That's why he said, love your enemy. In order to love your enemy, you cannot be not forgiving them. And then you say, I'm going to love my enemy. So the first step you do, you forgive your enemy. And then by forgiving them, you receive forgiveness of the Father, of the Lord. So I forgive you and now I can ask the Lord to forgive me because simply I did join the company of forgiveness. I forgive too. I am not a hateful person. So what, the, what, what Christ is teaching us that you forgive, I forgive you. You know what I mean? I understand. Thank you. Yeah. I understand. So I don't have to do any shahada or anything in Christianity. No, but you you can say I, I you know you can say I believe in the Messiah, my Lord, my Savior. I pray for him to yes. accept me in his kingdom. Okay. I pray that you, he is going to take me and accept me to be a child of God who loves me and support me and guide me in my life. You can say whatever word you want. Here we go. The mic is yours. Say anything you want to say to Jesus. Say to him, whatever from your heart, you want to, I believe in you, I accept you, you are my Lord, anything you want to say, there is no certain words, because you should say something from your heart, not something repeated by somebody else.
So what do you want to say to Christ? Yes, I just want to say that um, uh, I'm really happy that he has shown me the right uh, path. You know, like uh, he's shown me the light. Um, and uh, I'm thankful to him and I take him as my Lord. And uh, um, this is what's just come out of my heart right now. That's I mean, all. I mean, and I do thank you, everybody. I do see some people praying for me in the chat. So I thank you all of them for saying those prayers for me. And I'm thankful to uh, Lord for showing me the right path. I mean, my friend, we are so happy for you and glory to the Lord. The Bible thank says you. Thank you. a happiness in heaven in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved. And today you are saved and you accepted the Christ. Even though, yes, you know, you. Uh, you were like arguing with me in the chat and, you know, like you're saying to me, trying to, to find answers. But here we go. The Lord, he worked in an amazing way and he brought you to, to, to us today so you can leave Islam and you accept Jesus as your Lord. I'm so happy for you, my friend. Anything you want to say yes, to, you. to people? You also played a role in this because your sweetness and, you know, your answering things and, you know, uh, otherwise, uh, of course, this would not have been. So this is also, of course, there's a way, you know, so you have been uh, uh, the one showing it as well. So I thank you as well. Thank you, my friend. Don't thank me. Thank the Lord. The Lord is our guidance. Yes, the Lord you. is our light. Thank you. I did nothing. I am just here to help you. I am your brother in Christ. And maybe one day you can teach me something I need to learn. For you see the one, only the fool, he think he knew everything. <laughs> only the fool. You know what I mean? The fool, he fooled yeah, himself. But there are some questions I might need to ask us. So are you, do you have a channel like for asking questions? Like, or you only do yeah. Islamic things? Uh, or we, do you have, like, we, we have, if I have something to ask? Yeah, we have other channel. It's called The Quality of Life. You can join us there. And that channel, we speak nothing about Islam. You know, you can join us and be with us. And maybe, yeah, I can ask questions about Christianity. Yeah, Quality of Life M27. Maybe the admin can post a link for it and all of you can subscribe. Actually, today is Saturday. Also, Usually, Saturday and Sunday and even Friday, we go in that channel. But today, I decide to go here. And maybe the Lord, he made me come here so you can be reach out and we can help you to accept the Messiah. And we can also ask you, right? If I want to, I sure, can Sure, sure. You can you ask me now if you want. I have no problem, my friend. Okay, thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank all you very much again. And I thank you, God, again for showing me the light. I mean to that. Thank you, my friend. God bless. Bye bye. All right. Uh, we have many Muslims actually trying to call. A Muslim saying you blame Islam for having stupid rules. Doesn't Christianity have a stupid rule? Thank you very much for saying that. You just accepted that Islam have a stupid rules. Hello? Uh, yes, Mr. Ibrahim, what do you want to say to us? Uh, Christian Prince. Yes. You always uh, complain like uh, Islam is bad, Islam is this. Hmm. Doesn't the Christianity have a uh, bad rules also? Rules? Like, what do you mean by rules? What do you mean by, by the word rules? Like, for example, slavery, we find it in the Old Testament. Mm. So Christians, they believe in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Mm. Okay, slavery in the Old Testament is you offering yourself as a slave for seven years. And this is to pay your own debt. And Jesus never owned a slave, did he? No, he didn't, of course. Okay, did Muhammad own slaves? Yeah, he did. Okay, so why Muhammad owned slaves and Jesus did not own slaves? Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know the reason, but the Bible, like... No, no, oh, my friend, hold on, hold on. See, don't, don't change the topic. You see, I, I want to talk to you as an adult. Speak to me as an adult too. Mm -hmm. So you are the one who opened yeah. the topic. Okay, so if the Bible is speaking about slaves, and I told you that you can be, like simply in the old days, uh, you know, you, you, you borrow money from somebody, you cannot pay him, then you have to work for him for a maximum of seven years, even you or your family, depending on how big the, 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 the money, and you will be his slave for seven years. After seven years, you are free. So here, this is a different form of slavery. There's a slavery of war, but the Jews themselves, they've been enslaved, the whole nation been taken to Egypt. So they are doing what people they were doing to them. The question was, did Jesus own slave? You said no. Did Muhammad own slave? The answer is yes. Okay. Why Jesus did not own any slave? Okay, oh, now, now they understand, I understand, I understand, okay. yeah. Okay, 
Now, Muhammad is a good guy, supposedly, and you are a Muslim. And thank you for calling me. Why the good guy Muhammad is owning slaves and even he accept them as gift? As an example, Mary the cop, Muhammad he received her as a gift with her cousins and a bunch of people from Egypt. Why Muhammad, after he received the gift, he did not say, okay, slaves, go, you are free. They send you to me as a gift in the post office. I am a good prophet. I don't want you to be my slaves. Why he did not do that? He did not. Uh, Bilal, Bilal, the famous Muslim, who the Muslim, they say is a, is a slave. Uh, Bilal, he died, you know, uh, after, sorry, after Muhammad died, he came to Abu Bakr yeah. and he says, if you, if you bought me for the sake of Allah, will keep me for the sake of Allah. If you bought me for the sake of yourself, yeah, uh, if you bought uh, me for yourself, then right. you go. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Me, so, yeah. so why Muhammad did not free Bilal? Here we go. Bilal, Bilal, Bilal. Bilal is the first one called for the Adan because he was a slave. They are abusing him. The, the white Arab man, he go to sleep until the morning. The, the black poor slave, he is the one have to wake up, go in the top of the roof, shouting, losing his throat to why Omar don't do Adan? Why Muhammad don't do Adan? Why Ali don't do Adan? No, the slave will do Adan. Why the white Arab men, they are snoring with their wives. So when, when, when Bilal, he came so to... So it means to, uh, they were using Bilal, right? Absolutely. So when, when, uh, 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 when Bilal, he came to, uh, uh, to Abu Bakr, because Abu Bakr is the one who bought him, and he gave him as a gift to Muhammad to serve. So he came to him, he says, okay, well, I became a Muslim now. And I'm serving the Prophet all my life. So if you bought me for the sake of Allah. But uh, in the later in the later stages, about even Bilal was made the the chief treasure of the Medina. That is a my my, my friend, my friend. Was, my friend, at that yeah. at that time the, the community is very simple. Everybody knows everybody. I mean, if you live in that time, you meet Omar, who became later a king, right? I mean everybody is a small community. Later they control all the, the, the world around them. So uh but the question is, why Omar, why, why Muhammad did not free Bilal? Bilal, he became a Muslim. The Muslim, they say to us, Bilal, 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 he promised to go to heaven. So I, I promised him to go to heaven. <laughs> but I keep him as a slave. Uh -huh. So I will promise him, a, 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 to, you know, in heaven, a freedom or here. When my freedom in his hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Right? So imagine, I okay, uh, I am a slave and uh, Abu Bakr bought me and he gave me to you. And now I became a, a Muslim and you are uh, a prophet. Okay, why Muhammad don't or why you don't want to free me if you are against slavery? Muhammad actually, he not only he, uh, he, he is not against slavery, uh, uh, he, he practices slavery and he made slaves. And he asked the, Christian, the, the Muslims to attack the Christian, the Jews, and enslave them, and take them, take their women, take their children. Mm -hmm. yeah, but, but in the Old Testament, you say that you become a slave if you have a debt to somebody, so he can take you as a slave. Yeah, but this but, is not. Uh, but this is not. Exodus, a, but this is not. Uh, I don't, I don't remember. My friend, my friend. Like Exodus, but, this, or, but this is not a slave. He said the father selling his daughter. To okay. slavery. Okay, but this is to, to work as a servant. So you, I I I, uh, I borrow money from you, and then mm -hmm. you have I have to pay you back. So what do you do? There's no mortgage. There's no loan. There's no bank. We are talking about thousand of years ago. So I will. What is the mm -hmm. what the price of my daughter? But this is not really a price like uh, selling her in the market because she will be free after seven years. Yeah, because so the price. Because of, I'm asking you this because uh, as. I started asking Islam uh, some time back, so I started I started reading the Bible. These questions are asked so that you can clarify to me, okay? My friend, first of all, those are there. There is something is uh, is called the tradition of the Jews, which means Jews who live in a community they have their own tradition, and there is the teaching of God. So what people they do usually they mix between God teaching and the Jews rules, which mean. Uh, but that verse shows uh, it was God who was commanding those things. No, nope, no problem. No, there is some places. God no, no. Moses, something like that. Okay, no, some places where there's God, He says to Moses, and some places where Moses saying things to His people, or even uh, uh, the tradition practiced by the Jews. As an example, God He says to Moses, 
that you don't work in Sabbath, correct? Yeah, yeah, this, I don't work okay, uh, during okay. Sabbath. This, yeah. is, this is God's command, but there's nowhere God, he told them that if somebody is hungry, you don't feed him. If somebody is dying, you don't help him. If somebody is sick, you don't uh, give him medicine. So he told them, don't do anything, anything. So uh, when the Jews, they start giving their own interpretation, and they start making Sabbath more important than the man, when the fact Sabbath was made for the man. So when Jesus come, he did not say Saturday is gone. No, he said Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. Okay, so that's mean there's rules in the Old Testament. Even the Jews, they were understanding it wrongly because of their aggressive and aggression. So when the Jews, they chase a woman to stone her to death, Okay, stoning to death is a, is a command in the in the Old Testament. Okay, and the Jews now they want to practice the command. When the women she stop in the front of Jesus and those Jews they want to stone her. Why Jesus did not take a stone to stone the women? What do you think? Uh, but uh, some people say this verse was uh, put and then be removed because it was fabrication. When Jesus said. Uh, anyone who has not seen should be the first to stone this uh, woman. Well, people, they can. Uh, the my, rest, my, my friend, they say my friend, it's, uh, fabricated. My friend, people, they can say whatever they want. The Bible in front of us, and this will be accept. They can say. However, let us say if we take the sentence off, still Jesus, he said to her, "I forgive you," and don't do that again. And he did not stone her, correct? So taking yeah, the, I forgive you. Yeah. Uh, so go and so taking no that okay. taking yeah. those words off will not change the story. But we don't believe in that. I mean, whoever says that, this is his claim. But even if we took it off, that will not change the story. But the question here, well, Jesus, he is God. And this law is given by God. And now the women, she committed adultery. So why the God is not stoning the one who committed the adultery? And when he is the one who ordered that, obviously the Jews are practicing wrongly. Imagine how hypocrite they are. They are chasing the women. Where is the man? Yeah, that, that's wrong. Because uh, for you to do adultery, you have to be like uh, a right. man and a she woman. Will, yeah. She will not do it by herself. Hypocrite. So this poor woman, they go after her. And obviously the one who was she was with, maybe he's a rich person or important. So they cannot go out of him. They are going after the the, 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 the women. So you know, in, yeah. or, in order to understand, my friend, uh, uh, it's a book. It's not a, a verse. What Muslims usually do, they quote a verse from the Bible, as this guy, we are trying to answer him here in this video. He quote a verse from the Bible and he tried to make a book about the verse, denying the whole book. You know what I mean? So yeah, in, yeah, order, in, in, or, in order to understand Christianity, you understand Christianity, not a statement. All of Christianity. In order to understand Moses, I have to go back to the time of Moses. Today, when I look, I look at the world today, you see, Muhammad, he came long after Musa. So we are not asking Muhammad, you know, we, we, we want to be fair. We want to be fair in timing too, because timing is different. So how come Muhammad, after Musa's by long period of time, he is so savage? When the fact, Jesus came way before Muhammad, 600 years before Muhammad, he was so loving and so forgiving. So what happened? Why a human being? If Jesus was a human being, Muhammad was a human being, Isa was a messenger by Allah, Muhammad was a messenger of Allah. So why one of them, he was so savage, yet he came long after the one before him? Okay, because I was asking myself, uh, like when I was reading those verses, Exodus, Deuteronomy, like the rules seems like similar to Islam, you know? No, That's my friend. No, 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 no. Maybe it's... Muhammad was copying from here. Exactly. And uh, exactly. put into the Quran. Exactly. Muhammad so was trying. So what's the problem? Because Muhammad... it's the same rules. No, the problem is he's a thief and he don't understand them. Let me show you. Uh, you, you can see my screen, right? You can see the screen? Uh, no, no, right now. No, no. Okay. I'm going to ask you to open a verse in the Quran. Maybe you can open it from your side. And uh, I open the Quran. Which verse? We will go chapter 2, verse number 178. 2, 178. Uh -huh. oh, okay. You know, and I'm glad you, you did read in the Old Testament, that the Jews believe an eye for an eye, correct? 
Yeah. Okay. Muhammad wanna practice the law of Moses. Muhammad now yeah. is copying the law of Moses. Look at this. Have you ever heard yeah, of yeah. a stupid statement like this? Yeah, yeah. I ah, you, you speak Arabic. That's wonderful, my friend. Help me. Here we go. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu kutiba alaykum al-qisas fi al-qatla al-hur bil-hur wa al-abd bil-abd wa al-untha bil-untha. Have you ever heard of a stupid statement like this? So what is the interpretation? We can go right now read the it interpretation. Seems, yeah, it's, it's not just justice. Yeah, yeah. It's not justice because how you, a free man, if he kill a free man, a free man will be killed. But if a free man kill a slave, we kill a slave. This is not eye for eye. If a woman kill a woman, we kill a woman. So you, I kill your wife, you kill my wife. That is the most stupid religion ever. So, so Muhammad, you see, here we go. I see, I, I like it when Muslims they start laughing. <laughs> That's mean that he, this guy, he have a decency. This guy is decent. So you guys, listen, he just read the verse in the Quran and he's a Muslim calling me to prove me wrong and he is laughing at this Quran. I mean, how in the world do you practice eye for an eye like this? This is eye for an eye? This is not an eye for an eye. This is an eye for a foot. If a man... Also, this, but this verse, uh, the, the sheikhs, uh, they say it was abrogated, you know? Ah, uh -huh, thank you very much. And here, another garbage. If God is God, why he need to fix a mistake? Is that a mistake? Why he obviously because it's stupid. People they start laughing. What this guy is talking about? So what they say? Oh God, but, uh, Jesus, Abri, my yeah, friend. Jesus fixed uh, some rules. Yeah. No, 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 no. You see? No, 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 my friend. He did not change. No, no, no. He did not change anything. No, he did not change anything. You see. The, the Messiah, he did not change anything. As an example, we just showed you, he did not say that the stoning is, 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 is abrogated. He didn't say Sabbath is abrogated. He didn't say anything, but he gave them better understanding that you are a bunch of hypocrite. You practice as you wish. And here Muhammad is copying from the Jews, a law which he don't understand and make it eye for an eye in a stupid way. So I kill your dog, you kill my dog. You kill my wife, I kill your wife. But this is not eye for an eye. This is this is not fair. I kill your slave, you kill my slave. How that can be? If we go and read the interpretation for this verse, give me a second, I will show you. Chapter chapter 2, verse 178. Okay. We will go and show the interpretation so everybody can see what we will talk about. So nobody will say, uh, you know, uh, he's making his own interpretation. Give me a second. Chapter 2, verse 178. <clears throat> All right, let us see the interpretation. You read Arabic and you read English, which yeah. that, that will help us. Read with me. You, can, you, you cannot see the screen, you said, right? Uh, no, the screen. No, 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 I can't see it. Okay. I can't see it. Uh, Tafsir al-Jalalain in front of me, everybody can see. And this is the official government of the government of Jordan. You know, it says, it's prescribed for you in the obligatory of retaliation of equal terms regarding slain both in attribute of one slain and the action involved. A free man is killed for a free man, not for a slave. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. So what happened now, if a free man kill a, a, a free man, he will be killed. But if he kill a slave, no. A slave for a slave, a female for the female. So if I kill your wife, you kill my wife. If I kill your slave, you kill my slave. If I kill you and you are a free man, white man like me, then I will be killed. Well, this is, this is the, the eye for an eye. And then you, no, no, it's not. you agreed that Muhammad, he abrogated those verses. And this is, uh, you need to ask yourself, okay, this is the same prophet, the same religion, not like, a, uh, like okay, between Musa and Jesus, there's hundreds of years, long period. So if we say, okay, time different, things have changed, there's abrogation, <clears throat> it might be accepted. But here, this is the same prophet. Why Allah, he found himself mistaken. So he changed it because people, they start laughing at him. Yeah, then uh, it's a problem because uh, God cannot just change to, uh, today and tomorrow it changes. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay, my friend, you, you call me as a Muslim and you laugh at the Quran. Did you decide to leave Islam? No. Why no? You just no, laugh at the Quran. Hold on, hold on, hold no, on. Right now, 
No, no, hold on. Half is, half is, half is. Listen, you know, be honest with me. You, did you laugh at the Quran? Did you laugh? Everybody heard you. Yeah, because if you can laugh about something, just laugh it. Laugh at it. No, right no, 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 no. You are laughing I'm at the word of your God. No, 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 no. Hafiz, no, no, no. Please, please. You did laugh not at what I said. You laugh at what your Allah said. So how in the world you laugh at what Allah said and you still you are saying, I am not leaving Islam yet? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. What Okay. You okay, left Islam. Thank, thank, thank you, Christian. Please, please for, for, for teaching me. And, okay, yeah. so did you decide to leave Islam? No, no, no. For, for, for now. What do you mean now? <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. Half is, half is. Listen. You did laugh at Allah teaching and you agree that this is stupid. You said that already. And you are saying to me, no, 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 no. You already, you, you, you did. You have five fingers in the bum of Allah already. You spanked him already with me because you love. Yeah, this is what happened. Love with me. Here we go. He's laughing again. So why you don't want to say I love Islam? No, living Islam, it can be like already because right now I'm yeah. doing my own research. So when you are doing research, you need to be neutral. So right now I don't recognize myself as a Muslim or what. I'm just doing my research. After that, then I'll make the decision. You know? What do you mean? I don't understand. You are a Muslim. And you are laughing at Allah's words. Yeah. Okay. No, I was a Muslim. I was a Muslim. You was a Muslim, so you left Islam already? Not today. Already, I left it already. But uh, uh, right now, I'm doing my own research to find like. Oh, okay. All right. Ways All right. <laughs> All right. Happy. Yeah. Thank you for calling, my friend. Take care. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we will continue the video of this uh, guy from from uh, Indonesia later, maybe tomorrow. Uh, uh, as you see, we started with something. We did not even finish that guy video. I mean, <laughs> it's Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Yeah, his name is Ibrahim. I don't know. Like, I mean, there's many people calling me. If you see my Skype, you will go crazy. Yeah, his name is Ibrahim. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that the Hafiz is the other other person. He, yeah. Uh, there's Abdul Hafiz and there's Abdul, uh, Hafiz and, you know, the one who left Islam, I think his name is uh, Hafiz. Yeah. Uh, here we have another Muslim. Hello? Hello? Yeah, this is your daddy ultimate. Uh, he's just a kid. Get lost. <laughs> laugh, laugh more, laugh more, laugh more. Everybody is listening to you. I, I, ultimate, you see, I, I decide to give you some time, so just for comedy. Are you there? Are you there? He hang up. Are you there? I'm here. Okay, you are the one who said to, Ma, to us, uh, just to remind people, that you do not need to know Arabic to understand the Quran. And if you are a believer, you understand the Quran. Is that true or are you making things up? Uh, do you want to change your topic, or I'm making things up? No, no, no. I'm, I'm asking you. Did you say uh, that, or did you say, did you yes, say that? I said that. Okay. Allah, so Allah said that. Okay. So uh, uh, if you are a true, be, if, if you are a true believer, if you are a true believer, you understand the Quran even if you don't speak Arabic, correct? Absolutely. Okay. Explain to me the verse in the front of us in chapter two, verse one seventy-eight, and we are not changing the topic as you see. Go ahead. Go ahead, change your topic. Go no, ahead. No, we will not. Question. No, we will not. No, no, no. And understand, you said you do not know to need to know Arabic, and you can understand the Quran, right? Okay. Uh, yes, I'm okay. going to answer to that first. Hmm. I'm going to answer to that first. Yeah, this is what I'm asking so, you. Do you understand that verse? Yeah, do you it, understand the verse without okay, knowing Arabic? Can answer your question. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Do you, under, do you understand? Can answer the question. Yes, I ask you. Do you understand the verse without knowing Arabic? Say yes, please. I can't even answer your question. Okay, no problem. But I want you to start with saying the answer. Do you understand this verse without knowing Arabic? Say yes. 
I can understand every single verse of the 6,346 verses. Okay, how you can understand it, but you cannot... So how you can understand it if you cannot read it? Just one word. Okay, how... Just one verse. Okay, how you can how you can understand it if you do not know how to... My friend, my friend. My friend, how you can understand it if you cannot read it? Because Allah, the power of God, is shows you okay. I'm teaching you Arabic. I, I oh. taught you the difference between and Rasul. I taught you okay. the ayat. Uh, 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 I taught you the polygamy in Islam. Uh. I schooled you. I uh. schooled just you yeah. that schooled. Yeah, the video, the the video, the video, the video is there, and we are laughing. And here we go. This is. I don't speak Arabic. Listen, listen. You, you are a, you are a joker, and we laugh at you. And the only reason I'm talking to you is just for a comedy. Now, answer me, answer me, answer me. Okay, how you understand? How you understand a Quran if you don't speak Arabic? What get what God cannot do? If what? God put it in your heart, okay. God let you okay, hold on. It, you can read it in any language. Okay. If God is one but, okay. God okay. Power. Hold on. Hold on. I want you. Okay. No, I, no, I, 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 Allah. He, okay. Hold on. Said. Hold on. Hold on. Allah. He put the Quran in your heart. Allah. Did, hold on. Yes. You, you, you just said Allah. He put the Quran in your heart. Is that correct? You said that. He puts the Quran in the hearts on everyone he wants. Okay, he said, so so. Allah man, Allah man, Quran. All right. Says, to oh. in the arena, Bayana. All right. The one that explains the Quran. Don't. He's the one that uh, teaches the Quran. Okay. That's it. That's so iron. so that, 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 do, you, do you accept? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you accept Tafsir al Jalalain? Listen, you be talking to a guy. Do you accept? Do you accept? Hold on. Why did you pull the Do you accept? Do you accept? Do you accept Tafsir al Jalalain? Who I have it. I have it in the screen. I'm asking you. Do you accept the Sirah Jalalain? I said I accept no whatsoever. I accept only the Quran. Okay, hold, hold on, hold on. But you, but you just say that Allah will make the believers understand the Quran. Hold on, hold on, Ab Abdul, Abdul. Just you see, I allow you to speak just so we can laugh. You just said Allah will make the believers understand the Quran. So how come the Jalalain is a believer? But you don't agree with him. Okay, what about Ibn Kathir? Do you agree with him? They, listen to me. No, 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 no. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Why, why all the scholars they did not understand the Quran, but only you? Why? Shut up, shut up. Why only you? Why only you? A guy from Senegal who do not know two Arabic words. You are the only one understand the Quran. When you are the one who says to me, Allah will make the Quran clear for the believers. Is Ibn Kathir, is Ibn Kathir, potato, potato, is Ibn Kathir, is Ibn Kathir, is Ibn Kathir, a Jalalain, a Qurtubi, a Tabari, shut up, shut up, shut up. Okay, no problem, don't follow them. But why they cannot understand? No problem, sis, Abdul, 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 just, just, everybody is laughing at you. Everybody is laughing at you. Let me, let, Abdul. Okay, hold on, hold on. I, I will mute you. I will mute you so I can talk. Hold on. You are a mute. You are a mute now. Potato. 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 You are a mute. You, nobody can hear you because you will not let me talk. Guys, look at this donkey. If they, you said, Allah will make the Quran clear for the believers. That's wonderful. A Jalalain is a believer. Ibn Kathir is a believer. Al Qurtubi is a believer. All the Muslim scholars are believers. So, how come Allah did not explain the Quran to them, but He explained to you? How Allah He explained the Quran to you only? <laughs> no problem. But why He did not explain the Quran to them as it's shut up, son of donkey? You see why I, I hang up on you? And you say you are daddy, you are you cannot even have kids like your prophet. You are daddy. I allow you only to speak because we need some entertainment. You are the joker here. Guys, Allah made the Quran for anyone clear except all the Muslims is not clear for them. He don't, didn't accept anyone. Only him, a guy from Senegal. He did not know how to write the Prophet name correctly. But he is the only one Allah made the Quran clear for him. Only him. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Hey, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. How I can help you? Ah, you can't really help me. I just had one question. Just one question, okay? Okay. 
I'm not Muslim. I'm, I'm an ex-Muslim as well. Uh, my question is, why all the time you accept calls from these idiots, Indians, Senegalese? I'm not racist or nationalist, but like all of them are non-Muslim. Mm-hmm. They pretend to be Muslim, mm-hmm. and and you still waste your time like 10, 20 minutes on speaking. Okay, shut up. That's shut, not- shut up, shut up. First of all, who are you to say who is a Muslim, who is not? Secondly, you are a Muslim. Number three, if they are idiot, why you are not the smart one who can answer me? You Muslims, when you see Muslims leave Islam, like uh, this guy, his name is Fifi, he says, there's a guy, he left Islam. We know he's not true. This is the real Hafiz. The real Fazl, Fazl, what is his name, Fazl? We told them, okay, go and record this guy as long as you know him, you know where he live, you know his address, you see him every day, record him and confront him. Coward potatoes. They cannot take it that Muslims leave in Islam in my channel like rain. They are not being Muslims. <laughs> There's no real Muslims. All of you are not real Muslims. Hello? Hi, uh, CP? Yes, my friend. You are live on here. Are you a Muslim? Yes, 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 I'm a Muslim. All right. First, introduce myself. My name is Ahmed Nuski from Sri Lanka. All right, my friend. How I can help you? I'm a, I'm a Muslim. First, I tell you, I uh, I don't know 100% spoken English. Okay, no Maybe problem. any mistakes in my grammar or speaking. Don't worry. Uh, my I'm English, sorry, okay? Don't worry. My English is not good, too. Don't worry. Go ahead. Okay, I'm asking just one question. Do right. you believe the Trinity? Yes, I do. Uh, Father uh, Shannon Koligost? Correct. <clears throat> okay, but I'm asking where the Bible mentions one God, God is one, three personalities. All over the Bible. If you open Genesis from chapter 1, you will see that God, when he created the heaven and the earth and his spirit was above the water. That from the beginning, the first page in the, in the Bible. So God and the spirit of God. So now this is to... No, no, no. What? See, wait, I read that already. Yeah. My question is, one God... Three personalities where is mentioned God, Son, Holy Ghost is three. Okay, and one. I'm going where to give you. I'm going to give you the same question. Where in the Quran it says the word Tawheed? The Tawheed is mentioned in the Hadith. Okay, so why you are asking me in the Hadith? Okay, I need to show me the Hadith. It says Tawheed. Go ahead. What? Show me the Hadith. It says Tawheed. I want to learn from you. I just is something new for me. I, I all my life I did oh, not see a hadith says Tawheed. Show me the word. Hadith. Show me the hadith says the you word. Want the hadith. You want the hadith? Yes. But I I but but you listen my question. No 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 because you are no 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 because you are asking. Hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on. You see okay. I show you, Mr. CP. That's right. No, 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 no. Be, be, no, before, before, before we, no, no. Be, I don't say. I don't ask you where is Trinity mentioned in the Bible. I'm ask you, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, three are one. Where is mentioning it? Okay. I'm not asking Trinity. Where is the word Trinity? I'm not asking. All the Bible. I can give you endless verses in the Bible. Are you going to accept if I show you? Are you decent enough? If I but, show, but, but, but still, I'm, 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 I show you. No, the no, no. I'm asking you. If I show, I show you. you if I show you the Bible speak about the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, what you will say? I don't say, I don't ask you, where, my Bible is talking about the God, talking about the Son, talking about the Holy Spirit. I'm not talking, asking you, I'm asking God, I mean Father, Son, mm-hmm. Holy Ghost, three are one. This mention, where is in the Bible? I'm asking you again, if I show you the verses, do you accept? Okay. No, 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 no. I don't accept it. Okay. I'm asking so you. Are, I, I, okay, Islam but I'm asking. So I'm, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I want people to see. I want people to see the hypocrisy. So are you asking to learn, or are you asking and making a challenge? You are sure it's not exist. No, no, I'm asking to uh, reveal the truth for you. Okay. So reveal the truth for me. You reveal it from where? From which book? Because Jesus says John chapter uh, eight verse thirty two, you so you see the truth, and you see the uh, truth way. Okay, and who is the truth? Is, it, is the truth is, is, is the truth is Allah? Yeah, Allah is the truth. Okay, the Jesus says I am the truth. Prophet Muhammad also the truth. Oh, Prophet Muhammad is the truth. Where is that? Oh, you will see the Quran three eighty six. Okay, hold on. The Quran, guys, the Quran 
is 386 it says Muhammad is the truth he is the yes. truth 386 okay I'm going to go there and I'm learn I'm going to learn something from you 86 you said yes you okay. read it all right here we go where it says this is three, I, I, three, I, I, three. I, I, I also get that, that word I, that's worse okay where it says he's the truth Surah uh, Al-Imran, 86. 86, okay. Yeah, where, where it says he's the truth. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, Allah says, hmm. uh, How shall gay the people who hmm. disbelieve after they believe uh, hmm. and witness that the messenger is true? Where it says that? Quran 3.86 Allah says mm. uh, believers mm. anyone to believe messenger is true and uh, after this belief what is the word is what, is the, what is the word is it true I will read the Sahih International okay he says it says haq wa shahidu anna rasoola haq that he is a prophet okay <laughs> he, but he is is he the truth or it says he is haq which means he's right yes he's right So, oh, Prophet Muhammad is hugged. Okay, hold on. So we hold on. Oh, okay. okay, okay. You see, you, even your Muslim translation is saying that. So, why you are lying? Secondly, so that he is, he is, he is a, uh, he is a true prophet from Allah, but he is not the truth. Your Allah, he is the oh, truth. Maybe, maybe a prophet is a liar. Okay, hold on. You so, 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 so your, you, is your prophet is 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 your is your prophet is your prophet is your prophet? Hold on. My friend, my friend. Jesus said, "I am the truth and way in the life." You say it's correct. Correct. My best, my prediction. Okay, so now is is Muhammad the truth? Is Muhammad the truth? Is Muhammad is 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 Muhammad? You see, in Arabic, in order to say that truth, it means he is the only truth. If we say truth, this is true, doesn't make you the truth. As an example, you can say to me, so you can say to me something. You say, is that what I, is what I said to you is it true? I say yes, but doesn't make you God, correct? What? If you if you say something to me, you say to me, Jesus says that, and then I say this is true. Does it does that make you God? But if you say I am the truth, that will make you God. Now, is one of the names of Allah. Every prophet is the way, every prophet is alive. What? Every prophet is the truth and way in the life. Okay, he said the not truth. He said the truth, but he is not the truth. Is he the truth? Oh, you say that when the prophets are liar. Well, liars? You, well your prophet is a liar for sure. I mean, uh, you know, we can we can move all over the Quran. So you say all, all, liar? all the Quran, all the Quran say clearly that your prophet is a liar. Who said first? You are scripture. Then come to my scripture. Come what? Moses is a liar. Sorry? Moses is a liar. No, I say Muhammad is a liar. What? Why Musa is a liar? What Moses have to do with Moses Muhammad? Moses is a liar or truth man? Truth man or liar? Sorry, what? Moses is a truth man or liar. Well, he no, he's not a liar, but he is not a truth. He is still the truth, but, okay. he's not, but he is not the truth. He's not a liar. No, he's not a liar. You see, you see, I don't, I don't like people to play games. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You see, you are, you are, ju you are jumping like a monkey. I said to you, I said to you, are you saying that Muhammad is? Are you saying that Muhammad? Are you, are you saying that Muhammad? Hold on, hold on, Abdul, Abdul from India. Are you saying that Muhammad have the name of Allah? He is the truth. The Quran says that Allah is the truth. Are you saying Allah and Muhammad both of them are the truth? Allah is the truth. Mm -hmm. Muhammad, Prophet Muhammad, is the truth. So no. what is the problem? Is he the truth? He, he is the truth? Muhammad is the truth? Yes, Muhammad is the truth. What is the problem? Okay, hold on. You see, truth. you are the one. Everybody, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You are the one who gave me this verse in the front of everybody. In the front of everybody. Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen. We can't, we can't talk in the same time. What in, what in, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you show me one Islamic interpretation saying that Muhammad is the truth? Like Allah? Uh, Muhammad is the truth. Yes, every human being, every uh, Muslim says the truth. No, no, no. Don't tell me every Muslim. Yeah, yeah, Can yeah. you show me? No, no. Here we, we speak about What's reference. Here we speak about reference. Can you show me what reference saying that Muhammad has the name of Allah as the truth? He is the truth. Can you show me what reference? What, what is you ask me? You ask me, Prophet Muhammad is the truth, like Allah. 
Yeah. Ask me that. Yeah, because Allah Nahim is the truth. You said to me, Muhammad is the truth. Where is Jesus? Uh, like father. Okay, Abdul. Abdul, listen, listen. Let, 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 let us let us make it simple. What you I'm, call you I'm call you call me you call me for what reason? You are you call me? I'm asking reveal the truth. The truth? Okay, the truth is in front of us. Jesus is God. Muhammad is a false prophet. Prove me wrong. Muhammad not the false prophet. Muhammad is the truth, Robert. How he can be? Okay, give me a prophecy he gave. You know, and when you ask me where Jesus says or where the Bible says the Father, the Son, the Holy, this is this is showing me this is showing me your this is showing me your, this is showing me your, your hold on. This is showing me your ignorance. When Jesus was baptized, the heaven, the heaven, the heaven spoke. God the Father spoke. He said, "This is my only." Shut up. Let me let me answer. He said, this is my you only, hold on, let me answer you, hold on, I will give you the mic to answer. He said, the father who spoke, oh, answer my question. You say, tell me anything. let me answer you, let me answer you, don't cut me, I will give you the mic, just give, hold, hold your horses. God the father, when, when, the, when the Messiah get baptism, if you go to Matthew number three, you will see that during the baptism, the heaven opened and a voice heard from the heaven said, this is my only begotten son. And the hold on, hold on. You asked me what in the Bible it says, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Why you are being hypocrite? Why you don't want to hear? Are you see? This is why I say to you, if I show you, if I show you, that will make a difference for you. Obviously, you are a coward and you don't want to listen. Why you ask me the question you don't want to listen? Now, we showed you that the Bible says that God, he spoke, saying, this is my only begotten son. And the spirit of God appear as a bird and a voice heard from heaven. And this is the begotten son who, the, who, who I love. If we go to Matthew number three, hold, shut up. If we go to Matthew chapter oh, three, what's the, what's the matter? Genesis chapter four. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Potato. Listen. It's not about you talk. It's not about you talk louder. I talk louder. This is the Bible in front of you. You you challenge me. You challenge me to show you verses from the Bible showing God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Are you satisfied? Now we go to Muhammad is a false prophet. Do you accept the challenge? Huh? God, uh, Bible talking about the Father is God. Mm. Bible talking about the Jesus mm. is the Son of God. Mm. Son of God means that is a righteous person. Mm. I not so that my asking is my asking question is Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Three are one. Where is mentioned it? Mm. Where it says that Jesus, he said, I am the one who saw me. He saw the Father. Jesus, he said, I will leave you and I will leave the Comforter with you, which is the Spirit, the Spirit of God. And he said, every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. I will be the third, that by the Spirit. So this is the one. And is, I ask you, where Muhammad, he says the word Tawheed. You said in the Hadith, I challenge you to show me the Hadith says the word Tawheed. You are a liar and you got busted. Now, listen, you said to me, you said to me, Muhammad is a prophet of God. You said to me, you said to me, you said to me, Muhammad is a prophet of God. Can you show me a prophecy of your prophet? The word Tawheed does not exist in all Islam. This is a, this is a fabrication. Secondly, can you show me one prophecy your prophet said come to be true? Can you show me one prophecy? Because in, in order to call Muhammad a prophet, we, we have to show me a prophecy. So why he earned a title? Mr. C.B. Hmm. Mr. C.B. Yes. Three the hadith number uh, 2597 Tawheed word mentioned in the hadith. Where? Tawheed mentioned in the hadith? Give me the hadith. Yes. Pause the hadith for me in Skype. Uh, Tirmidhi, uh, hadith number 2507. Hmm. Tawheed? It says Tawheed? Or you are reading translation? Yes. Read, read for me the hadith in Arabic. CP, I'm talking in mobile, so I saw to use the hmm. uh, So I'm showing the number hmm. 2597. No, 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 no. You are saying to me, you are saying to me, you 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 have the tawheed in the hadith, right? Yes, yes. Okay, and the one who said that is your prophet, right? Yes. Okay, what is the tawheed? Yes, you ask me the, the you ask me. Okay, I have it in front of me. It says the unity of Allah. Do you agree? It says okay. You are the one, guys. You see, this is how you trap. 
This is how you. This is how you trap a fool Muslim. You just admitted that Allah is not one because you are the one who is saying to me you believe in the unity, the unity of Allah because Tawheed. You are ignorant. Tawheed does not mean one. Tawheed means unity. I read this is your translation. This is your Muslim translation. You are the one who chose the hadith, and you are the one who quoted, and you are the one who asked me to read it, and it says in the front of me the unity of Allah. How Allah is one, and it says unity. CP, 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 CP. I'm asking you how you say Allah is one and because when you choose the word Tawheed, you're ignorant. When you, you, you don't speak Arabic, the word Tawheed mean the word Tawheed mean the word Tawheed mean the word Tawheed mean unification. So how you believe Allah is one and you are saying to me unity of Allah? Uh, CP, first answer my question. I'm answering you. you you are the one you are the one who said to me Allah is we believe in Tawheed I said to you where in the Quran says Tawheed you said not in the Quran I said where in the Hadith I want to learn from you you said here we go and now you get yourself busted I made you go there because Tawheed because Tawheed, because Tawheed mean Allah is not one is unification uh, you, you Muslims do you do you Muslim do you Muslim believe do you do you Muslim believe in the unity of Allah or Allah is one do you believe in, in the unity of Allah or Allah is one? CP, CP, fake CP, just to cool. My friend, I'm asking Best you. Answer you my question. Uh, no, 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 no. We are, I'm answering your question. You are the one who lead us into here. Why you don't want to talk about it no more? You are the one who gave me the hadith. You are the one who said read it. You are the one who's happy and excited. And now you don't want to talk about it. How Allah can be unity? Explain to us. CP, CP, fake CP. Don't, don't cool, okay? <laughs> I'm asking okay. you, you ask me where is Tawheed mentioned in the Hadith? Mm. Mm. Okay, I show you mm. uh, three Hadith number 2597. You agree that Tawheed mentioned in the Hadith? Okay, do you agree that Tawheed means unification of God? You agree, okay. okay. You say mm. Tawheed unification. Mm. Yes, it says in front of you. This is this, this is your Muslim. This is your Muslim translation. This is your your Muslim translation. It says unity of Allah. Unity of Allah. What unity mean? This is your Muslim translation. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, SSS. Yeah, 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 SSS. Yeah, S yeah, S S S S. Yeah, S S S. Okay. What is what is the unity of Allah? How Allah became united? Explain to us. Go ahead. Manifest monotheism. Okay. Huh? Tawheed monotheism. No, 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 don't change the topic. Tawheed is not monotheism. Tawheed is unification of God. Don't change, don't change the topic. Don't, don't play games. This is, okay, hold on, 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 hold on. Because you Muslim, you say, okay, according to Muslims, according to Muslims, monotheism is believing in one God. Not God, Father, God, Son, God. That because the Christian believe in monotheism too, but they believe in the Trinity. Do you how? If you don't believe in the Trinity, how you say the unity of Allah? CP, you still answer my question, CP. I'm answering your question. How Allah? How Allah became united? The United State of Allah. Explain to us. Where is Father, Ghost, and Holy Ghost? Three, one. Where is I, see, here Bible? we go. I showed you the I showed you the verse from the Bible. I showed you the verse from the Bible. You don't want it. Here we go. The Father, He said, "This is my only begotten Son, and the Spirit of God appeared in the sky." And this is the verse is saying that to you. Now I'm asking you now. You are the one who quotes for me this hadith. Why do you don't want to talk about it no more? How Allah can be a unity? How Allah can be a unity? I'm asking you. He is begotten Son. What? Today my begotten you. What? David is a begotten son of God. Mentioned in uh, Psalms chapter 2 verse 7. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why, why you are jumping like a monkey? I gave you a verse from the Bible. It's so clear. It says that Jesus, when he baptized him, he said, this is my only begotten son. Otherwise, all of us we are Christian. Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Abdul. Don't be, don't be stupid, Abdul. Copy, copy paste, Abdul. Copy paste, Abdul. We Christian, we pray, we say, our Father, God of heaven. So we Christian, shut up. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. You read the verse, Psalms chapter two, verse seven. It's no problem. But after, I will read whatever you want. I will read whatever you want. Answer about the hadith you gave me. How Allah became a unity. What? How Allah became unity. You are the one who quote for me this hadith. What's wrong with you? How Allah became united? How Allah became united? How Allah became united? Go ahead. Read the surah, uh, 112 and 4. 
What? Chapter 12, Surah chapter 112. No, 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 the hadith. No, don't, don't, don't jump. You are the one who called for me Tawheed. We want to talk about Tawheed. Tawheed means unity, unification. How Allah is one and He is unified. Explain to us. What? You're wrong, you're wrong. What wrong? You're wrong, you're wrong. Okay, hold on, hold on. Guys, is 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 that the website of the Muslim Sunnah.com? Here we go. Everybody will see on the screen. Everybody is laughing at you. This is Sunnah.com. This is Sunnah.com. No, 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 no. What, what, what Wikipedia? What, what Wikipedia? What Wikipedia potato? I'm asking you why you are jumping. Why you don't want to read it? It's in front of you on the screen. Don't, for, don't force me to hang up on you. I'm losing my patience, my friend. I'm losing my patience. Please, please, please. Tawheed is oneness of God. Nicely, nicely. No, this is not what it says. Tawheed in Arabic is not oneness of God. Is unity of Allah, unification of Allah. You, you are a liar. Do you, do you, do you speak Arabic? Do you, do you, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hey, puppy. Puppy. No bones. No, no more bones. I will not take you out to the street. I will not I will not walk you in the street. I swear by Allah leg if you don't answer. How Allah? This is your, this is your Muslim translation, you potato. It says unity of Allah. And this is the website you gave me. And this is the, the this is the hadith you are quoting for me. I'm asking you how, how Allah became united Allah. That's simple. Why do you want to answer it? Allah is one. Tawheed. Okay, no, no, Tawheed is not one. You, you don't keep Tawheed. Is, tawheed, tawheed is not one. Tawheed means unification. I can show you even. Here we go. This is Hadith. You call me. You, you see? Okay, Abdul, 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 Abdul. You are so cute. This is your Muslim website and this is your Muslim translation. Why you must? Why the Muslims? Why the Muslim translating the word? Allah is one as unity of Allah. Why they add the word unity? If the word of Hid Malla I mean one. Monotheism. Okay, uh, explain to me how monotheism work with unity. The unity of Allah. Not the unity of Allah. How Tawheed is monotheism. Allah says in uh -huh. Quran, uh -huh. chapter 112, verse 4, there is no like him. So what? There's nothing like my leg too. There's nothing like my fingerprint. How can you and the Bible says the same. You are copying from the Bible. There's nothing like God. What's a big deal? Um, this is another question. How Allah became united? This is the question. The mic is yours. Allah is not united. Allah is monotheism. Tawheed my friend, is my, my friend, you are the one who gave me the hadith. It's your problem now. You are the one who showed me the word Tawheed. And you are the one who caught me the hadith. And I'm showing you the hadith. Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's listen. Chapter 21, verse number 17. Okay. It says, Allah, if you want to take a wife or a child, he will take it from us. Us who? See, that's oh, me. See, oh, Allah, that's Allah, you. Allah, you hold on. Are you going to answer? Are you going to answer or are you still playing games? Allah is going to take a wife. Allah will take a wife. My friend, my friend. Allah will take a wife. And he said it from us. Us who? If Allah is not many. Allah is one. That is clear. No problem. Yeah, okay, clear. no problem. Okay, no problem. Guys, Allah is one. Allah is one. No problem. But Tawheed means unification. This is number one. Number two, chapter 21. I want you to read for me chapter 21. Okay, okay, Abdul, Abdul. Can you read for me, please? If you don't mind. Please, gently, nicely. Chapter 21, verse number 17. And explain to us how Allah will take a wife from us. Allah saying, if okay. I want to, if I want to take a wife, I will take from us. You know the Hindu sir? My friend, answer the question. You know the Hinduism? Yeah, I know the Hinduism. The black stone of the Kaaba is coming from the Hinduism. It's a vagina. It's a, vag it's a vagina and your prophet was kissing it and licking it. This is not the topic. Don't change, don't change the topic. How Allah in chapter 20. How Allah, you see, don't force me. Are you going to talk to me or no? Are we going to shout over each other? Can we can we speak? Can, can we speak like adult? I gave I gave you a verse from the Bible, and this is what the Bible says clearly: Father, Son, Holy Spirit, all of them in, in all, the three of them in in one chapter, in one verses, and I gave it to you. Now, how Allah is one, and the Tawheed means unity, and we show you the Hadith which you quote for me, and the Quran in chapter twenty one. Hassan Abdul, chapter twenty one, verse number seventeen. Can you explain to us this verse? How Allah will take a wife from us? Who is us? I'm asking you. So, you want to, so okay, let us make clear. Are you are you go, are you saying you will never answer how Allah he will take a wife from us? Are you saying you will never answer the question? How Allah? 
Yeah, I, I, want, to, I, I want to answer. Okay, chapter 21. Let me repeat that for the last 100 times. Allah will take a wife from us. Who is us? My answer. Okay. You listen my answer. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you are... Quran is not come from the Christianity or Muslim. Quran comes from the human kind. Not the question. Quran comes from a human? Okay, Quran comes from where? First, first, complete my answer. You wait. No, no, no. no. Quran comes from a human? Okay. Come, Quran comes from a human? I come Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said something. You said Quran come from a human, correct? Oh, first, no, you first wait my complete my answer. No, 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 no I, because I do not hear you. I want to hear the part. Wait for did you say, answer. did you say, I'm answering your question. No, 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 you did not. No, 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 no. You say, Abdul, don't, you are, a, you are a stupid, you will not let me talk. I'm asking wait. you, did you say the Quran come from a human? Okay, first, Quran is come for humanity. But, yeah. Come for him. So, okay, come for him. No problem. Yeah. Chapter 21, verse number 17. Allah he says that if I want to take a wife, if we want to take a wife, we will take from ourselves. Who is ourself? Allah will take a wife from ourselves. Who is ourself? You ask me, you listen my answer first. Hinduism believe God have wife and child. Hmm. Siva and wife of father Abdul, don't don't, don't make me don't make me uh -huh. hang up on you we are not talking about the hindus stop being stupid i'm asking you why allah will take a wife okay get, get okay get okay get lost how many times i need to repeat the question this don't want, don't want to talk hindus and now he's going to teach me about the hindu you are you are you are a copy of the hindus this is why muhammad he brought a black stone he put it in the kaaba and he kissed it in the shape of a vagina and I can show you from Islamic reference that Muslim women before Islam pagan because Muslim are a pagan until now they go around the Kaaba and the women when she have her period she touch her vagina when she have a blood in her hand and she place her hand inside the stone and then the man he come after that and he shovel his private part inside the black stone hoping that the God of fertility will make the women have a child this is your religion now I want a Muslim you see this is how you trap them. Where is the word Tawheed in the Hadith? He got hard, excited. Okay, I will work hard for it and I will get it for you. Here we go. This is the word Tawheed. The word Tawheed does not mean oneness of God. The word Tawheed means unification. Anyone who speaks Arabic, he can see it. As an example, I say Tawheed al-Dual al-Arabiyya, unification of the Arabian state. Ask any Muslim, who is a Muslim want to make a verse for me about Tawheed in Arabic? United the state of America. <laughs> this is what Tawheed means. So when you Muslims say we believe in Tawheed, you are a bunch of idiots. You copy a word, you don't know what it means. Obviously your God is not one as unit, he is a unity. And if you want to answer, I will let you call me again. But I'm not going to repeat the question. So I will give you a chance, one more chance, and I will call you back. Is that fair, guys? If Allah is one, Allah, he said, I will take a wife from us. Who is us? Either you are willing to answer or there's, we are wasting our time. You ask me about the Bible? All the Bible speak about God, the Father, the Holy, the, the, the Holy Spirit, and the Son. All the Bible. And if you want me to make a verse for you to say certain words you want, we'll make a book by your own. And then I can say to you now, where Allah He said, uh, let us say, uh, I am not a man in the Quran. He did not say that. He nowhere in the Quran said, I am not a man. Nowhere. Where Allah He said in the Quran that Jibreel is a Holy Spirit? Nowhere. So you want a certain words exactly? They are being hypocrite. Now I'm going to call you back and I demand an answer from an adult man. Let us see if you are an adult.
yeah, CB, call me. Okay, so are you going to answer the question? I will give you last a chance to answer the question. Chapter 21, verse number 17. You answer my question? You, you, you answer my question? I did answer already. I'm waiting for your answer now. I, you you answered first my question. Yes, I answered your question. I did. I showed Mama, you. Where you I showed you. You the, say, you say let, this is my son in, in, in Matthew chapter 3. I saw you. Uh, then in the Psalms chapter 2 verse okay, 7 no, 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 uh, are, you, are you willing to an, are you willing to answer or you will not? I'm giving you last a chance as an as an adult. Are you are you an adult? Shut up, you filthy! I mean, this guy is mentally ill. I give him a chance to talk. He will not even let me talk. All what I said to you, answer this verse. We will go back to the Bible. Potato coward, like your prophet. In the Old Testament, God he appeared to Abraham as a man. You idiot. A man in the Old Testament God he spoke about his spirit we have tons of verses from the Old Testament about the Trinity they challenge you where we can find the Trinity show me where in the Bible it says the Trinity we show it to them they don't want they don't accept now we have Allah who speak, the Muslims speak about Tawheed, that means Allah is not one as a person. Otherwise, why you are using the word Tawheed? The word Tawheed in Arabic means unification. This is the hadith you gave me, exposing you, translated by Muslims, posted by Muslims, and it is Sahih. This is what Tawheed means. And then they say to you, Christian Prince, he hang up on Muslims, as you say. I have to repeat the same question 1,000 times. There is no dignity and there is no honesty. Show me a verse in the Bible that says that Jesus is God. Okay, let me show you. Oh, I don't accept it. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Let us see what the Bible said during the baptism of Jesus the Christ our Lord. Matthew 3 In those days John the Baptist came, preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. This is he who was spoken of through the prophet Isaiah, a voice of one calling in the wilderness, Prepare the way for the Lord make straight paths for him. John's clothes were made of camel's hair, and he had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. People went out to him from Jerusalem and all Judea and the whole region of the Jordan. Confessing their sins, they were baptized by him in the Jordan River. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to where he was baptizing, he said to them, You brood of vipers! who warned you to flee from the coming wrath, produce fruit in keeping with repentance, and do not think you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. I tell you that out of these stones, God can raise up children for Abraham. The ax is already at the root of the trees, and every tree that does not produce good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I baptize you with water for repentance, but after me comes one who is more powerful than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he will clear his threshing floor, gathering his wheat into the barn and burning up the chaff with unquenchable fire. Then Jesus came from Galilee to the Jordan to be baptized by John. But John tried to deter him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and do you come to me? Jesus replied, Let it be so now. It is proper for us to do this to fulfill all righteousness. 
Then John consented. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was opened, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting on him. And a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. I mean to that. So did we see the three in one chapter in the Bible, in one incident? God the Father, God the Spirit, and God the Son? Yes, they challenge you, they are ignorant, they don't know what they are talking about. And now let us see Abbas. Abbas is challenging me again. Abbas, how are you, Abbas? Let me call you, Abbas. Are you on, are you on Skype, Abbas? Uh, Abbas is trying to call me, actually. Uh, we missed you, Abbas. How we missed you? Sorry, Abbas. Hello, sir. I don't know what's happening here. Well, I look like uh, Skype is stuck, my friend. Hold on, I need to... Uh, yes, I hear you and the Skype is keep uh, ringing. So I need to shut it down. It's stuck. Let me call you back again. Let me restart. Yeah, I uh, the, the ring is ringing and at the same time you are talking, which is funny. Let me call you back, Abbas. Abbas, I'm trying to call you, my friend. Hello, Zibi. How are you, right? Okay, Abbas. How are you? Go ahead. Peace be to you. Yeah, Thank well, you. you, as usual, you make a lot of errors all the time. Okay. No uh, you make another another error. You see, you mentioned chapter 21, verse 17. Okay. Uh, and you say Allah say he is going to have a wife mm. if he wanted he could have a wife yes okay, okay. yeah ah, now the word uh, for wife what is the word for wife in this verse lahu lahu means wife uh, lahu mean women lahu mean women yes are, are you sure about that uh, very sure absolutely yeah absolutely um so if i show you um prove it to you the lahu means past time okay. and even according to the language of the quran All right. it means amusement or past time right. not a woman okay where well, you are going yeah. to show me that this is what it's mean go ahead in the quran we're going to go in the quran to mm. mention other parts of the quran how it mentioned the same word okay. and it mentioned okay. something but else be and before you go abbas before you go uh, can you look at my screen i will show you the screen this is your Muslim translation. Uh, this is your website. And there they are saying, mm -hmm. i.e. a wife or a son, etc. Does it say that? Yeah, yeah. So, and they, the translators can be right and wrong, yeah? Oh, ah, 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 okay. And you are the one is wrong. Okay. So what about... No, no, I'm oh, not, no, no, no. Not Abbas, me. Abbas. If I show you, if I show you that the I'm word... Lahu, the same word no problem, no problem. Do you, do you trust that Muslim scholars who explain the Quran and they are Arab, they speak Arabic very well or you don't? And I can prove them wrong as well. And I can prove they, they disagree with So each other. a guy from Pakistan who do not know Arabic, he can prove the Arabic scholar, the Muslims who they are Arab, the big names, he can prove them wrong. How you can do that, man? You are amazing, my friend. Uh, uh, Abbas. Is that your argument? Abbas, yes, this is my argument. Because is that your argument in order to, to prove them to, wrong, <laughs> everybody is laughing at you. This is Al Qurtubi. This is Al Qurtubi. This is the official government of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. And I will read for you what they are saying about this. Actually, it's even more ugly. فقال الله الزوجة وقاله الحسن and the one who said that الحسن وقال ابن عباس الله he meant a child and وقاله الحسن أيضا and قال الجوهري وقد يكن بالله أن الجماع Allah is going to have sex جماع Allah want to have fun by having boom boom and then they said and له is امرأة ولو أردنا أن نتخذ لهوا قالوا إمرأة. Now all those Muslim scholars, including Ibn Abbas, they are wrong. And Mr. Abbas from Pakistan, he is going to teach them Arabic. You done your personal attacks? Mm. No, this is not personal. 
This is not personal because how come the scholars of Islam, you see this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. How the official Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and how Al-Qurtubi, one of the biggest scholars of Islam, in page number 323, not only him by the way, I can show you tons of them. Tons of interpretation. Lot. When the, I'm allowed to speak. The question when is, no, speak. the question is why they are wrong and you are right. Am I allowed to speak now or not? No, you are allowed to speak, but you have to give me a reason to believe that okay. you are not an idiot. Yes. Hmm. And I can't give you a reason if I'm not allowed to speak. Do you understand that? It's a simple logic. Well, I, oh, no problem. Okay. You, are, you are allowed to speak, but why, okay. you, now, why they now, are wrong? Now, now let's, get, let's, get, let's be adult right now, and I'm going to give you my reason. Okay, give okay? me. Okay, that's fair. Okay, go ahead. Now, we use this. My question to you, hmm. answer answer me just a, one or two words. Hmm. Is lahu has any other meaning apart from the wife or not? Lahu, it means fun. You know, that you go to the night club, so, you want to have sex with, <laughs> you want to have one night stand, you do lahu. Lahu can be doing anything oh. not from God, not from God, not godly thing, lahu. This is why you are forbidden to do all kinds of things. So how Allah will do lahu? If it's so, forbidden. so lahu can be the, okay. So lahu can be playing football. Yeah, but here it says, but here you see, or don't be stupid. Here it says, if you want to take don't a lahu, you are don't be okay. Stupid hold on, in order to understand, uh, about, about the stupid, it says, if you want to take, you are the one who said it means pastime, correct? Yes. Okay. Pastime, how yes. how he will take a pastime? Explain, guys. He will take a pastime. He will not do pastime. He will take. He will take. Explain to us how you can take a pastime and you are the uh -huh. genius. You are the genius Abbas from Pakistan. How you can take a pastime. Hey. It's not doing pastime. It is take to take. How you can take it. Explain to us genius. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. I, I'm going to explain to you uh -huh. uh, and you're going to learn something today. And maybe sure. some people get a good benefit. Go ahead. Not those foolish people and they have no, bad, uh, no logic about Islam and, and they're leaving Islam. Oh. I just can't believe it. Uh -huh. okay. okay. Now read the context. Mm. Context Allah says chapter 21 verse 16. Mm. And we did not create the heaven and earth. And that is between. Hello. Sorry. We are listening to the something happened. Okay. No, we are listening. Yeah. And we did not create the heaven and the earth. Mm. Uh, between them in play hmm. had we intended to take a diversion or amusement we could have taken it from us with us okay. if we were to do so meaning hmm. Allah has not created the heaven and earth for any kind of amusement or play hmm. yes hmm. because we know Allah why Allah created us so if he wanted to do that he doesn't need to create us he could have made himself for himself he is enough for himself no, to no, amuse no. himself no, no. to be to, 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 be, to okay. have a pastime for himself he could have done that Abbas you are the one who just so said he, I know Abbas you are the one who said from us who is us Allah Allah is talking about him as a pure so how we will take so him. how we will take that thing okay Allah talk guys Allah talk about himself as a pure okay but he will take that thing from yeah. us he will take it from us so it is with him already what thing there is no thing here it's talking about amusement pastime if he want to do okay. it he no, pro I will, no problem i will go with you allah will take amusement from us what is the amusement with us is you're not getting it aren't you no i'm not because getting it you see okay allah 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 abdul abdul listen allah will take amusement according to you from us what is that amusement he will take it from us uh, amusement mean he himself is enough to have a pastime he himself is enough but he, he doesn't need so us. He, he will take he, himself he as he will take himself as an amusement he will race. take himself as amusement sorry he will yeah, take himself his company himself is enough <laughs> He doesn't need us. If this world and okay. universe he would, would have made for play, okay. he doesn't need to do that. Okay. He made it for a purpose. Okay. Now, okay. the, the why I'm Abbas, saying that, Abbas, why I'm saying Abbas, it is Abbas, 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 Abbas. I want you to read chapter 29, Abbas, Abbas. verse 64. Abbas. Okay. But, and you see for yourself, okay, Abbas. if your meaning is right, Abbas, Abbas. if it means why. Abbas, okay. Tafsir mm. al in front of us says, had we desire to find some diversion that in which provide diversion in the way? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah, you are so you you are the only one who understand the Quran correctly, and all the scholars are donkeys. Is that what you are saying? Chapter uh, seven, uh, chapter seventeen, verse ninety six, or chapter twenty one, verse ninety six. I can show chapter you. seventeen, verse like number chapter twenty one. Abdul, listen, listen, Abbas, you are being hypocrite, Abbas, Abbas. 
I'm asking you, why all the scholars, they are saying this is about having sex with the Hories and having children, except you saying no. Why they are wrong and stupid, and you are the one who doesn't even all, speak Arabic, he can explain the verse. Of, okay. hmm. No, why? Well, listen, listen. Hmm. I, Allah, Allah says in the Quran, uh, you, you know earlier some guy was saying that Allah can guide you, and I'm um, sorry, uh, uh, ultimate truth was saying that. Yeah. That the guidance come from God and Allah, He can guide whoever He can. And chapter twenty nine, verse mm. sixty nine says mm. exactly that. Mm. Allah give criterion. Okay. Allah give furqan to whoever He oh, will. All right. So now, are you so saying? Oh, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you saying all the scholars, Allah misguide them? No. Okay. Allah doesn't misguide. No, you said that. You said that. No, 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 no. You said that. You said that. You said that Allah is the one who make you understand the Quran. Okay. All the Muslim scholars no, understand the Quran no, in a certain way. Allah, Hold on. Allah give who, who is the one? Okay, who is the one who guide a Jalalain to come with an idea that Allah is speaking about taking the beautiful eyed Huris for boom boom or the angel Jibreel? Who is the one gave him that idea, the guidance? That is his own effort, and in his own effort, no problem. Wrong, and I'm not so now, right so okay, do you have your? Do you, right. Okay, do, but this guy, he he's but this I'm guy, I'm, I'm proving you wrong because Lahu, it says in the front of you, Lahu in I'm the not. language of the Arab yeah. mean a woman. Lahu in the language of Arab mean a woman. What's wrong with you? Okay, okay, Chap open chapter twenty nine and verse sixty four. Let's see if that means no, woman. No, 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 no. You see, you see how the lo word location, no, location, location of the world can change the meaning. Very simple. The location of the world can change the meaning in any language. Thank you. So, Thank you. No, you say it only means woman. Yes. You say it's only mean, yes. mean, no, mean no, woman. No, 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 no. It doesn't. No, 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 no. Hold on. You see, because you are a donkey. It says in Arabic, min ladunna, min ladunna. From our kind. Ladun, you say, I have a son from my ladun, which means from my blood. From my kind, from my lineage, this is what Laduna mean. So you are a donkey, okay, you don't okay, speak okay. Arabic. Hello. Listen, Abdul, don't tell me, okay, okay, you don't speak Arabic and you are playing the game. This is why they say to you, if you want to take a wife, did you ask yourself, why those Muslims? They say such a thing if it's not true. And why you Muslims don't make a case against them? Here we go, as long as this is a lie, this is not true. Why you Muslims publish those books in your countries and all Muslims, they buy them and read them and nobody complain. You are all doing it for your crowd, man. You all do it for your crowd. You see, you are a crying now. You are a crying. You are a crying. The potato who, who ordered his wife to give her boobs to a stranger, including me, talking about coward. It's you who's a coward. You agreed. You said it's okay if the prophet told my wife to give your boobs to suckle it. It's okay for me. You again, said that. Again, again, personal attack. No, not personal. This is what again, you say. Personal. Everybody heard you. It is you that who is said. Your so, so why, so why you are calling me? You no why you are calling me coward when you are the one? Because you are a coward. You don't dare to say your prophet is a fraud. He is a scumbag. You say it's okay for my wife to give her breast to you and suckle you just because the prophet says though. You said that. So you are a coward. Now I'm asking you. All the scholars. I am a coward. All the scholars. All the scholars. All the scholars. All the scholars. Abdul, yes, you are a coward because now you are saying to me you have your own interpretation for the Quran, but the Muslim scholars don't no, agree. Is that is that no, is that no, is that a translation in front of me made by Muslims or by Christians? If I show you a Christian translation which shows Jesus is a sexist, what about that? Yeah, you know, this is not a Christian translation, obviously. No, no. If I show you a Christian writing, hmm. show Jesus is a sexist. No, that's not true. What do you say about that? That's not true. You see? Are you sure? Because you so because I, the, who who I, who listen, 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 hey, listen hey, Abdul, hey, Abdul, 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 you can show me article, you can show me all the garbage you want. Here, this is Quran. This is this is Quran. This is Quran approved by you. Okay, is a Jalalain approved by Muslims or he is not a scholar? Do you call him a scholar? Be honest. What kind of a question is that? Is a, is a Jalalain a scholar approved? Is a Jalalain a scholar? Is a Jalalain a scholar by Muslims? Yes or no? Sorry. Is a Jalalain a scholar by Muslims? Yes or no? Jalalain is a much greater scholar than I can ever be. Okay. okay so clear? how come he is way better than you, and you know better Absolutely. than him? 
In some things, yes, you can. A greatest scholar can be wrong in some things. And, that's and exactly how Allah, okay, how Allah, he opened your vision to see the truth, but he blinded all the Muslim scholars. How this happened? It's a miracle. Okay, I can answer your question hmm. with a question. How come two scholars who are equally great scholars, but they disagree with each other? Okay. Are they both right? Hmm. They just agree with each other? Are they both right? You see, the, but, but those are your, they are the one who call them a scholar. For me, if somebody come with garbage and he, and now, to be, to be a scholar, who is no, the no, one, no. who is the one who make you a no, scholar? Let, let, Abbas, 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 listen, as an example, when, when we say Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the prophet, he gave interpretation. Who is the one who named Ibn Abbas a scholar? Do you know? Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thank you very much. So if Muhammad he named Ibn Abbas as a scholar, can Muhammad be wrong? Can Muhammad be? I showed, showed you the other time in uh, non-religious things, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa admit that he can be wrong. No, no, no. I'm not talking about Muhammad himself. I'm talking about Ibn Abbas. Allah, Prophet, Ibn, uh, he named Ibn Abbas, his cousin, as a scholar. And he prayed to Allah to make him the scholar of the nation. Okay. So... When Allah, he chose Ibn Abbas to be a scholar to explain the Quran. Did Allah make a wrong decision? Okay, I'll answer you the question, but uh, I'm afraid I think uh, if I answer certain things, you just run away from me and I don't have a chance to... I always run away um, from you. Everybody is my witness. Here we go. You are the one changing the topic. You are the one running. Is Ibn Abbas... I'm not. Is Ibn Abbas chosen by I'm, the Prophet, which means he's chosen by Allah the, the, to explain the remember, Quran... To, ex to, to explain, to, to explain, Lahu. yes, Lahu, Lahu, yes, Lahu. Is Ibn Abbas? Yeah, how we end up in Ibn Abbas? How we end up in Ibn Abbas? We talk about Lahu, word Lahu. What, what do you mean? How we end with Ibn Abbas? Because we are trying to find the correct yeah. meaning. You see, what's wrong with you? Exactly. Okay. That's exactly what oh, I'm telling you. you to read chapter no, 29. Okay, verse no 64. problem. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ah, on, okay, here we go. Hey, this is Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn Abbas. This is Ibn no, no, Abbas. No, no, no. Read the Quran, not the Tafsir. Read the Quranic words. Okay, why you Muslim don't want the Tafsir no more? What's wrong? When we say to you something, you say to us, read the Tafsir. We will go there. And now, and now we, we, and now we, we, we Muslims, we Muslims, and we Muslims take the words of the Quran above the Tafsir. You, you, you agree that we Muslims take the words of Quran direct more than the Tafsir. But, you understand that or not? Okay, so why Allah, he says to you, Allah Prophet, he says, take the Quran from four, if you do not need anyone. Okay. Again, you are wrong again. You are again wrong what you just quoted. Why? Misquoting again. He doesn't say take the Quran. Hmm. He said take the recitation of the Quran. Ah, Do you get it? the recitation. Okay, but aren't you the one who a second yeah. ago who said to me, okay, hold on. Aren't you a second ago who said that Allah Prophet, he said, he chose Ibn Abbas to be the scholar of the nation. Yeah, and okay. you see the so why, Ibn Abbas. So why you are not accepting Ibn Abbas interpretation? If Muhammad named him. No, no, no. You see, I just got you busted right now. Those mm. all, among those four, Ibn Abbas is not there. Okay, thank you. So what are you talking no, about? no problem. So why Muhammad is naming him if he's not there? No, but that is talking about recitation. Okay, my it's friend. Not talking about the ilm. Okay, no problem. Okay, about the ilm. It's okay, about the hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How beautifully they recite. Hold on. This is how you trap a full Muslim. You are the one who agreed that the Prophet he said, take the Quran from four. Did you take the Quran from four? Take the recitation of the Quran. Okay. okay. Did you take the Quran from them? Did I take the Quran from them? I. I don't know where I take the Quran. I take the Quran whatever is coming up. So you're a prophet. He said, take the Quran from four, but you are not taking the Quran from those four. So why are you are doing that? It's not you're not saying. It didn't say take the Quran. It said recitation. No, no, no. Okay, okay, no problem. I will go with you. You see, I will go with your stupidity. Okay, Allah Prophet, he says to you, take the recitation from the Quran from those four. Did you take it from those four? Of course, those alim, the ulama, they have taken from them. That's why we got it uh, from them. Of course. Okay, where? Okay, show me where it says it taken from those four. Here we go. 
Okay, okay, I'll go to that, but you agree <laughs> that I prove you wrong. About no, you did not prove me wrong, Abdul. You are the potato. You are coming. No, so you are, right, you're you right are coming. No, you are the one who's running away. You are the one who's coming with own interpretation. No, 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 I'll answer. I'll answer you. I'll call you every single day to correct you every single okay, day. Okay, okay. Listen, but listen, listen. Okay, right okay, okay. Mister, Mister, correcting me. Mister, correcting me. I, I really, I appreciate you correcting yeah. me as you claim. Now, did you give me any reference to prove me wrong? Or you are making your own yes, study. You, okay, you're not giving me a chance. No, you, I'm not. Gi I'm, I'm giving you a chance. Do can you? I read it? No, no. Can I give, listen, can I listen, listen. Book? Okay, Abdul, Abdul, listen, listen. Very simple, very simple. Do you yeah, have? Yeah, very simple, do, very simple. do you have knowledge in Arabic? Okay, CB. Uh, waste of time. No, 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 no. no. Like do, do you have knowledge in Arabic? How you know what the word means if you don't know Arabic? Where do you go? How this guy he knew what the word mean if you do not know Arabic? And why his scholars, they say something is not true? And why they agree? It's embarrassing. Same time when we say he will take it from ourself, it says Laduna, our kind, our self. How Allah will take a partner? He's talking about taking a partner. But because this is very embarrassing, they do everything in the book of deception to avoid answering the question. Muslims are translating. Muslims are explaining. Muslims are printing, Muslims are publishing, and yet the Muslims don't want to agree with the Muslim scholars because this is very embarrassing. I just open a website, have many interpretation at the same time. I'm going to place it in the front of all Muslims in the screen. Interpretation. And this is the interpretation. one after one the son the child the wife and the women one after one this is which one this is al wasit to at-tantawi saying that lahu mean can be mean a son or wife or a woman tafsir uh, <clears throat> al-baghawi according to al-kalbi sorry according to ibn abbas allahu is al-mar'a let me let me translate in google let me let me use google translation so you guys can read with me so we can laugh and here you see why they are so desperate trying to deny what is written in the Quran. I mean, we are not quoting for them. People do not know. We are quoting for them the biggest names in their history. The ones they call them scholars, even they are companion of Muhammad, even the one who Muhammad himself, he named them to explain the Quran. Quran7m.com have many interpretation in one page. This is why actually I open it so we can see as many as we can. I click translate to English in the front of your eyes. All right. A boy or a landlady, <laughs> a boy or a friend. If we went, we wanted to have fun from a boy or a friend, girlfriend me, you know, a woman or a land, landlady. This is tafsir what? Asuyuti. Oh, this is uh, uh, this is Asuyuti. I think the first one. Uh, no, sorry, Asadi. The first one is Asadi. Asadi here, and then <clears throat> it says, This is the Sirwat. This is still. This is a, a meditate. Uh, 
This is Al Wasid Al Tantawi. This one is translating the name. It is Al Tantawi. So the name is translation is very wrong. All right. Let us see what it says here in Al Tantawi. Does it say a woman? Okay, let us see. Uh, Karim uh, have taken from our side without uh, causing problem. All right. Uh, uh, taking it as a fun, taking it in plus. Uh, where is Atantawi? Okay, hold on. I'm trying to see. Okay, it should say here, uh, wife. Where is the word wife? Uh, no, kind of grandfather. Our translation is coming wrong here. You see here, this is in Arabic, so it should say wife here. See here it says, al waladu wa zawja wal mar'a. Uh, so here it says it should say the son I think the translation is coming wrong so it shows wife I don't see the word wife here or women I don't see it okay and then let us do it actually in a very simple way we search in the text for the word women Here we go. Lahu mean Hata, he said. Lahu fun as the women. All right, do you see it? Let's continue. Women, do you see it? Al Hassan, Qutada, and others said, if we wanted to take it for fun, the women is in the language of people of Yemen. So this is in the dialect of people of Yemen that the word lahu mean women, all right? And then here he says, if we want to take it, we could take it from hurul ayn. Do you see it? Hurul ayn. And we are not making things up. <laughs> they are desperate and they are going crazy. How we can prove him wrong? How we can prove them wrong? Tafsir al baghawi where is al baghawi This is Ibn Kathir. Where is al baghawi al baghawi the baghawi name, the Tafsir baghawi became prostitute. You got it right, Google. <laughs> yeah, okay, what al baghawi says? al baghawi says, in Ibn Abbas, he said, if we want to take it a fun, we will take women. This is al baghawi do you see it? And women for sex, mahal al for intercourse. Al Hassan said, and Qutada said, this is for intercourse. This is you. So Allah is saying, if you want to take a woman to do so, to do boom boom with her, He will take it from women with us. Us who? Here they say from the black eyed whore this is why we see the word whore appearing in front of us and the only way for them to get out of this to say we don't accept that this is horrible Allah will take a partner because this verse he's saying, talking about talking a partner. If you go to the Quran, just to show you how idiot this guy is, this, I feel sorry for this kid. He's a kid. He don't know what he's talking about. Suppose he's saying, if I want to take a children's, if I want to have a children, I'm going to have a woman from our kind and I have sex with her and then I will have babies from her. And this is why even the Muslim translation come in with the word i.e. a wife or a son, etc. And then when we go to the English interpretation, we see clearly, even in the Muslim interpret in English translation, which always they try to hide the garbage in the Quran, it says it clearly, if we desire to have some fun, 
in the way of a partner. So here when he say, we want to take, he's talking about taking a partner. How Allah will take himself? Allah will take himself as a partner? This is why we laugh at Abbas and he hang up. And the funny he says to us, I challenge you. I got you busted. You are wrong. The scholars agree with me and I'm wrong. You see, according to Muslims, if the Muslim scholars agree with you, you are wrong. Did you notice? If the cousin of the Prophet agree with me, I'm wrong. <laughs> Do you notice? All the scholars are wrong. There's only two people now they understand the Quran. Abbas and ultimate fault. Allah gave us guidance. That's it. He just received guidance from Allah. Allah did not give it to Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet, who Allah Prophet called, called him as a scholar. No, Allah gave it only to Abbas from Pakistan. I mean, do you see the miracle? Only Abbas received it, brother. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like what we, are, what we are doing here. And if you are already a subscriber, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because according to the logic of Allah, Allah will bless you if you subscribe and unsubscribe for Allah will give you double deed from the bad deed. Subscribing to me is a bad deed. Unsubscribe, Allah will give you double deed. Welcome to the stupidity of the God of Muhammad. And by the way, when the Muslim they speak about Allah is one, I mean, who cares if he's one or two or five or seven? The, the question is, is he exist? I mean, who cares if your God is ten or one million? The question, how God can say such a stupid thing in the Quran? As an example, what kind of God he think that hail is coming from mountains in heaven? He break it and he throw it at us. Huh? Allah is one. Uh, one what? He's one idiot. He is one of the kind of idiot which if you see what he say, you die laughing. And look at the Muslim translation trying to cover the bomb of Allah. Look, look, look at the translation. Chapter 24, verse number 43. And he sent down from the sky hail. And they put between two words to a bracket like, where is the word like in the Quran? From mountains in it. And then between two bracket, or there are heaven mountains of hail. But this is what the Quran is saying. Why are you saying or? Where he sent down hail. Imagine what is the Arabic between became between two brackets. But this is what the Arabic is saying. Why are you are between between two brackets? Allah is one, but He is the only one who think about that. That hail is in the mountain, and Allah break it with the hammer and He throw it at us. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Muslim pro proper, Muslim proper. I have a challenge for you. Look what he said, guys. CP only read the scholars who agree with him and not all scholars say it. Muslim proper. I want you in front of everybody to adopt a Muslim scholar you agree with. Give me his name. Is that fair, guys? Either you are a potato and you are afraid to be fried right now or you are a hero. So choose a scholar you agree with and we will use his interpretation as we speak. Do you dare? Don't tell me all the scholars of Islam, none of them you agree with them. Give me one. Here we go. Can you see? The Christian prince, he chooses scholars, they agree with him. The Muslims agree with me, the scholars of Islam agree with me. Okay, give me a scholar, you agree with him. And I will put his interpretation in the screen and we will die laughing at your stupidity. Abbas, 
Abbas, you are so cute. Honestly, I want to grow someone like you in my yard. But the city said there's no chicken allowed. And I'm afraid to put you in the back of my yard and then I find that you, uh, some of your four uh, chicken wives doing breastfeeding for the neighbors. As you told me, you will let your wife do. Abbas, are you searching Google? Abbas searching Google, give him time. <laughs> I thought you already were the scholar, you know what you are talking about, but obviously you don't know what you are talking about. You are just making an excuse, you are a potato. Potato, 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 potato. If we call Zach and now, what he will say? Tereren, tereren. Tereren, tereren. Tereren, tereren. Zach and Naik is not answering. I need to call again. Tereren, tereren. Tereren, tereren. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, sorry, I was calling by mistake Abbas, not Zach and you see, because both are scholars, and I was confused which one of them is the one to call. I mean, obviously, uh, uh, sorry, Abbas, I called you by mistake. I know that it's not a good time for you now. All right, let us call uh, Brother Zakir Naik. Hmm. We will call him and see what he will uh, say. You know, obviously, uh, Zakir Naik, let me get his phone number because I lost it especially the, the the private one who gave it to me uh, he said don't share it with anyone except in youtube and facebook and twitter he's not answering Christopher Penth, I did not call me. You are making me thick. Just hold on, uh, Zachary Naik. How you know it's me and that Abbas is calling you? First of all, Abbas is busy doing breastfeeding for adult, And he's taking the ticket because long line of men in front of his house. Ah, Abbas is doing breastfeeding for adult now? Ah, okay, he's busy. <laughs> how you know? Because I'm standing there. I'm waiting in front of his house. Uh, uh, Zachary, oh, hold on. You are standing right now as we speak in the front of the house of Abbas to do breastfeeding for adults? Exactly! Okay, Zakir, are you really hungry? Isn't it fasting time? First of all, in England right now we can do break the fast because already it's 7 o'clock. Ah, okay, but I think the sun is not sun set yet. Why you are too early? Because simply, I have to wait online and wait for my turn. A lot of men are here. Okay, Zakir Naik. So, Zakir Naikir, do you have a special scholar you think he is the best to explain the Quran for us? I'm going to give you a name. And actually, I like and I love this scholar. His name is Altimar Fort. And the other one, his name is Abbat and Farnat. He's very well known. He lives in England. Uh, okay. Uh, 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 but what is his qualification? First of all, Islam, in Islam, you don't need to qualify him. And you don't even know to teach Arabic. All what you need is to grow a beard and to say stupid things. Ah, okay, so you grow a beard, you say stupid things, and uh, did you forget anything? I, I forget something yet. Uh, and you spit. You spit when you talk. And you need to open your umbrella. Uh, okay, okay, well, uh, to be honest with you, I hope you did not give me corona, man. Your, your reign is all over, you know? Exactly. And actually, Allah, he told me to do that because this is the blessing from Allah. Uh, thank you for the watering of our uh, green yard, uh, Zachary Naik. Take care. Chris Brent, don't hang up. Uh, well, why are you not? Don't hang up. Because I want to throw you life for breastfeeding for adult. From the front of the house of the Bata Abbad. You want to show me life on air right now, on air, breastfeeding for adult? Uh, I cannot do that. This is overrated. I cannot do it. There's kids here. Uh, all, all my uh, uh, like listeners, they are in the age of between 60 and 70. They are not adult. Chris Brent, in Islam, 
If you are six years and older, you are it's okay and you are mature. I repeat upon her, she was mature at the age of six. Uh, okay, Aisha, she was mature at the age of six. And uh, how you know she was mature? Because it's very simple. I thought she was very beautiful. And she was very hot. And even the Prophet, he said, al humaira But al humaira can be a donkey. Christian Prince, you are a liar. The word humaira means a blondie. Ah, Aisha, she was a blondie. Hmm. How she is an Arabian in the Arabian desert, but yet she is a blondie. Do you think she is a daughter of somebody like, you know? <coughs> Christian Prince, you have a very dirty mind. Hey, hold on. Is it in the Sahih Hadith that says that a guy who is white, his wife is white, both family are white, and then their son was black. And then the Prophet, he explained it that he inherited that. <laughs> This is the true, and actually, this is proven to be accurately in the Tayyab. Oh, so you are Pakistani, and your wife is Pakistani, and then your wife, she gives you a son, he have a blue eyes, and that is proven to be true. Exactly. Okay, no comment. Thank you, uh, Zakir Naik, uh, for uh, uh, receiving our call, and uh, <clears throat> take care. Uh, stay in the topic of uh, Kintu Mabaha. My friend, we will do it again. I mean, that, that's it. Uh, we, one, don't worry. We are not done with this guy. We will we will do a video. We will change, actually, the title of this video because it looked like, you know, we did not finish it, what we can do. So, guys, I want to say thank you. I'm really getting, uh, like, a little bit <laughs> sleepy, actually. <laughs> I'm so glad of those who left Islam today. Islam is a stupid cult, as you see, and Muslims, they get angry the second you uh, confront them with their own texts and their own scholars and their own books. Those books are accepted for centuries, and today they try to deny them because simply they are ashamed of them. As simple as that. I want to say thank you for those who join us, those who subscribe, and those who download the videos. And those who translate them and please if you speak other languages translate like korean japanese etc and in the same time thank you for those who support us in our mission by doing all this work including donation i appreciate you all may the lord bless you subscribe to our account in instagram in mind in patreon and i will be happy to see you again very soon i might go live on air tomorrow in the account of a quality of life so if you like to join us there i will be happy to have you i will show i will see the comment and we will choose a topic based on the comment and we will see what we will talk about don't forget please to subscribe to the quality of life account for there we take a break from the garbage of muhammad and as you see the garbage of muhammad is very entertaining stupid entertaining but in the same time is disgusting and for me i need a break need a break from this garbage honestly you know many of you say okay christian prince everybody every day talking about this garbage i'm really sick of it but because i feel i have a duty and what i can do maybe maybe nobody can do maybe few can do the duty is making me speaking about this garbage otherwise i am truly truly sick of it i wish one day i'll wake up and this garbage is gone it's like having dirt in your clothes smell bad taste bad everything is about it ugly and disgusting but somebody have to fight corona and here we are fighting the corona of the quran may the lord bless you and we see you soon again christ is lord islam is false and feel free to read my books and learn more about the garbage of muhammad take care bye, -bye.